Wait. We are live, man. Wow, you might well, you might think it's a Monday of how dead it is in here, bro. Holy crap. You might think it's a Monday. Dude, what? We have like four people in here right now, man. Holy crap. Is it dead dead? Damn. I love it. Wow. Yeah. It's dead dead. Here we go. Here we go. Holy crap. Dude, you look exhausted. I'm fine. It, how am I going to look exhausted? How am I looking excited when there's like four people in here, bro? There's nobody in here right now. Where is everybody? Late notifications? Oh, okay. I say there's n that was like nobody in here. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, hello? Hello? Uh, uh, I just got my notification. Okay. All right. So late notice, late notice. I'm here. Don't worry. What up? What up? What up? What up? What's dropping this morning? Um, just dunks, dude. Dunks on dunks on dunks. You look drained. I'm fine. I'm actually in a good mood today. I'm actually doing very well. Thank you for asking. Um, no, we're just back to it, bro. Everyone's injured too. Yeah. Uh, top of the morning, top of the morning, top of the morning. You guys, you guys look great. You guys look better than me. Did you just wake up? No. Why you guys always say that? Guys, I wonder what, I always wonder what you look like. I wonder what the hell you look like in the morning. You must look like freaking sunshines and rainbows. I'm telling you. You guys put your makeup on. You're all set, ready to go. Do you regret not trading for Swift? Why? Did he go off last night? Oh, the other night? I missed it. Hit that like button. Run it up. Maybe if we need more likes, it'll start letting people know that we're live. Hit it up. Let's get 50 likes off the rip. 50 likes. How about the Steelers last night? Dude, uh, they still, man. Pfft. I don't know, dude. That, was a, that wasn't even a good game. Now, uh, Kenny Pickett still is rough. Arrow boy, thank you for the 15 months of the line cook. Thanks for that sneaker con W. What up, man? Good morning, mid Monday games. Why do they have two games on at the same time? Someone, please. Who thought of that brilliant idea? Pats is still rough. Eh. It's a tough schedule. I mean, we're it's close games. They're not getting blown out. I mean, we shut they shut down Tyreek Hill. Just that, uh, you know, offense needs to put points, man. Defense is not that bad. Defense is keeping them in the games. Just that the offense, again, the offense is what's holding them back. I feel bad for Nick Chubb. That was brutal. Dude, Monday night football games have been really bad for, like, injuries. I don't know why. Why is everyone getting injured on Monday night football? NFL's cruel. Shout out to Nick Chubb. Best of luck with his rehab. That's how it is, man. That's how it is. Bro, why do you look like you went on a bender? I wonder what you guys say to other streamers, bro. Like, what do you want me to look like? I'm, it's, it's, it's 8.30 in the morning. Russell, like, hey, Tim Robbins from Shawshank Redemption. Two different channels. Uh, what, Bro, why do you look like you went on a bender? How about them Cowboys? Cowboys look good, huh? I know, right? The Cowboys look good. Where are these dunks at? Uh, Nike app. Nike app. Nike.com. Bro. I, I mean. Dude. Guys. I don't know, man. I don't know. Love you guys, but bro, 
The sneaker game right now is in shambles. It's still in shambles. It's still in shambles. Terry caught a touchdown. How is that shutting down? Oh my god, dude! He had 40, 40 yards for a touchdown. Okay, he had almost two hundred. He had two hundred yards the week before. He's gonna have another hundred yard game next week. He forty yards and a touchdown. Okay, so what? You live with that. He's the bet one of the. He's probably top three best wide receiver in the game. Uh, I'm sick. I missed the Kith at Bronx tail drop. Those tees were fire. Yeah. How about them Saints? The Saints have played nobody, bro. Relax. It's been trash and consistently not making enough pairs of what we really want. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Ross, you're going to have to start unboxing Amazon return pallets like everyone else. God. And I bet they get millions of views on that shit. Ross, did you hear about the dude who died at Gillette after getting into a fight? No, I have not. I did not. That's pretty tragic. Uh, the secret house rooms are really good. Keep doing your thing, boss. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah, so we have Nike dunks today, but I, I don't think anyone's even copping dunks today. Is anybody even grabbing them shits? Is anybody even grabbing them? What's Supreme? Supreme just released too. Week five drop list. Good morning, everyone. Wake up, roast nerd face. <laughs> Why you call me a nerd face? Uh, Sadi, thank you for the five. Appreciate it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is Supreme this week. Oh my God, they got the darts. Darts this week. There you go. Dartboard. Shady Munchie, get the dots. $500 dartboard. I like the baseball jersey, but man, oh man. I'm not paying five. I can't pay $500 for a dartboard. Uh, from where? Which drunks are dropping? Usual toxic chat. Why? To Ch chat is fine today. Chat's fine today. It just started, though. They teased it at 200. Yeah, 500. Nah, bro. 500 all for darts. It's probably dope. I would love to have that. But um I don't so I don't I don't have a, I don't have the space to put that. I just I don't know where I put that in the garage. Where am I going to put that? Luna, what up? Great meeting you at M this weekend. Thanks. Yeah, you say likewise. Likewise, my friend. Everyone's going to wait for the basketball hoop. That might be the only purchase that we do for Supreme. Well, for me, for this season. But, yeah, okay. Supreme this week. Put put the put it in the game room man cave. I don't have a game room man cave. But you could if you want if you if you if you have the space to be chucking darts. And then and then what are you going to do, though? Like, yeah, you're going to piss people off. Bro, you're going to have holes in your wall. It's better to put this, like, I don't know. Where, like, what are you going to do? Dude, dude, you're going to, like, put it in your house? And then what if, you, what if you have friends that miss the board completely and just hit the bottom or the top? You're going to have holes all in your wall. I'm sure you're going to love that. Yeah, just don't miss. Right next to the TV. Put it outside on a tree. My uncle used to have one. And he used to put this, like, he had, like, a little shed next to the grill. And he would have it on the on the shed door so people could play outside. But, yeah. Thoughts on the baseball jerseys? I like them. That's the only item I would probably get out of all this is the baseball jerseys. Damn you early? Cool. Gorgon, I heard you starting fights all weekend, bro. So I would probably relax today. I heard you've been starting fights all weekend, dude. 
The green jersey slaps, yeah. Let's see. Uh, typical, yeah. Let me see. So what, these are the dunks that are dropping? So these are the dunks that are dropping. Valentine's Day, dude, the dunk. Oh my God. Bro. So do One and a half years ago, 1.5 years ago, they'll all sell. Bro, I mean, we got to stop living in the past. We got to stop living in the past, guys. The Like, I'm sorry. We got to stop living in the past. Like, this dunk shit is not, pump, com not coming back. It's over. They're all going for retail. It's over. If you buy them, if you like them. I don't even, I, I'm, I, I might be over, I don't know. Didn't fight anyone in the stream. Someone dude keeps harassing me in Discord when I defend myself. The mods blame me. Dude, I saw you. You were like going crazy and raff. Every you leave. Everyone, I'm I'm not live. You guys go cause a ruckus in uh in Raffy's channel. Hit the cement fours as a gift for my buddy's kid and now shipments is missing. Poor kid was so excited. L Nike and UPS. Oh shit. Damn. Now you gotta pay resale for him, right? Can't let the kid take it out. You gotta pay a resale, bro. Those are Team Reds, not St. John's. Yeah, those are not St. John's. They got the yellow on the top and yellow on the back. Yeah, that's Team Reds. So that's what's happening today, man. Just dunks. Dude, what's going on with the Balvins now? Is the Balvins still hyped? Are y'all still going crazy for Balvins? I, I've been away for like three days, four days. Are you guys still going crazy for Balvin's this week? What's the deal? Are you guys ready to drop 250? Do you still got money on them? Did I see a lot of them at SeekerCon? I only saw like three pairs. I saw three pairs and one dude paid like four fifty for one. Um, that's about it. Uh, Balvin's are three thirty USD, so I'm not interested anymore. Would cost more than Yeezys. Uh, oops, I mean three. Oh, three thirty Canadian. Three thirty Canadian. Where are they on StockX right now? Just for shits and giggles. There's 600, 400. There's no way they last. There's no way they, there's just no way. Four thirty. There's no way they stay up chat. There's no way. They have to go under four. They have to go under four. They have to go under four. They have to. Just because, I mean, I know there's going to be so many people that are just going to buy to flip to make money. They And, like, I just feel like people are, are going to be just so quick to make any sort of money. Ross, how many pairs will be available on this one? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. There's been a lot of numbers floating around that I don't know. Like something about 500, like 50,000, 40,000. But like, I don't know. Stock, a lot of stock numbers have been wrong lately. So who knows? The best bet is like when we'll see when, I guess we'll see when they drop. We'll see how many people hit. We'll see if people are very, very interested in these. 
They said the same thing about Amma Manier 3s. Um, about what? The price and how they would be low. But, like, I, I want you to know we're in a different time. Amma Manier's, when they released, people, I don't know, I just feel like people had more money to spend. Times are different now, bro. Fast forward to today. I don't see many people buying shoes and people are not buying. I'm, I don't think people are going to be spending 250 plus $300 for shoes. So we'll see. I got white cements. Don't need these childish goofy threes. Yeah. Balvin is a bigger brand worldwide than I'm a Manier. Yeah. Jay Balvin as a person is bigger. Yeah. But we'll see. Do you think why you think because of like people over in Colombia, Colombia, dude? Do you think people in Colombia are gonna go crazy for these? <clears throat> uh, worldwide, none of the Balvin designs are good at all. Oh, they absolutely will. Okay. FY unions was 450 500 a week of the drop. Which unions? Talk about the the union you're gonna you're gonna go wait, you're talking about the union fours? Which unions are you talking about? Oh, you're talking about the union ones? You're saying the union ones? Oh. The union ones were God, why can't I just type in Jordan One Union, dude? The Union Ones were four fifty five hundred bucks when they released. Now they're two hundred dollars. Holy shit! They're under retail. They're not under retail, but holy shit, man! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Two twenty, two fourteen, two twelve. Holy shit! Bro, that's an L. Why does it matter if you pay for resale? Why does it matter the resale price? It matters because, bro, like, you, as soon as you, it's like a, it's like a car. As soon as you buy it, the price goes down. You're better off, like, why would I want to buy anything? Like, that's the thing. Like, jeez, why would I want to buy anything? I'll just buy it later on from a Timmy. Holy crap. <clears throat> they sold out Nike Union. Don't care. We can say they fell off, but they sold out. They did sell out. And it looks like a lot of people regret it. But yeah, someone just said brought that up. Uh 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 <clears throat> People need to stop buying shoes if they can't afford it because they tank the market so they get some of the money back. Resellers and Matt Hurt, just look how they respond. Uh, yeah, and then um, and then you guys cry and wonder why this happens. Then you cry and wonder why this happens, dude. Like, and then you cry and wonder why this happens. You know? And then you cry and wonder why this happens. Because it's simple. Yeah, grabbing a pair of these big hooked. <clears throat> They were like a thousand bucks easily. I, I didn't ask him the price, but like, 
honestly, if he still had this many pairs left, he was probably taxing. He was probably taxing very, very hard. <clears throat> uh, buy shoes to wear. I don't cry. It's part of the game, yeah. But people, like, get so, like, the disrespect, bro. I'm just saying, like, this happens way more now because of the fact that... I don't know. I think people, sh like... Money, dude. Money's money right now is like they're getting so much more money backdooring and selling bulk and all this shit. So that's like that. This is the way it is now. But yeah, it's a lot of pairs. It's a lot of pairs. How many pairs is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Jesus. Nine, 18. Wow. 20, 22, 24, 26. 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, uh, 52, 54, 56, 58, 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74. Damn, over 100-something pairs. Easily. Holy shit. The real question is, did I buy one? Hell no. Hell no. You think I got $1,000 just to buy on shoes right now, bro? $1,000 to buy some born and raised? Hell no, bro. Under the table also. He did, I mean, they that person did have like a, a, a huge um, of the APs. They had, he had a bunch of APs too. Which I don't even know if anybody, anybody, um... Anybody wanted there. One, two, I mean, 70, that's like, dude. 70, like, what, say 70 pairs? $1,000 a piece, 70,000? That's what he's looking at. $70,000 for all those shoes. You didn't get the YouTube discount? Uh, No. That YouTube discount doesn't work for people that get back doors, bro. Because a person like this doesn't need no promo. He doesn't need all that. He's already got it in. He's already tapped in. He doesn't need any more tapping. He's already tapped in. So... Uh, Ross, you think the APs will do good? I mean, they'll sell out. I don't think they'll, they won't resell. So I think if you like them, get them. You probably bought them all for 500 and trying to flip for 1,000. Probably. Probably. Ross, did you go back and, and buy the college dropout tea? I did not. And you know what's funny? I totally forgot until now. <laughs> Uh, I totally forgot about it. I cut the stream off, and then I just had so much shit going on. I had to do the wanted auction, and then from there, I was I had to do a Nest Quick thing, um, and then I had to do something else, and then it was over, bro. I totally forgot. It was just, it was one of those days, man. Then you did not really want it. I totally forgot. They didn't really want it. I call Cap on the store who lost their Nike account for backdooring. Of course, what the hell. I don't think any. What, who got? Who lost their account backdooring? It was a crazy day. I think it's pretty understandable. It was nuts. It was nuts. It was nuts. It was been a nut, a crazy weekend in general. It's uh definitely one of the. I'd say it's definitely the biggest. It's the big, it's the biggest uh, sneaker con of the year by far, just in general, and overall, like it was solid. It's solid for sure. They're definitely, I don't know. It's definitely dying. It's definitely has toned down a bit, though, man. It's definitely have toned down a bit. 
like the vendors, there's plenty of vendors, there's plenty of vendors, there's plenty of um, companies, uh, but the foot traffic has started to slow down a little bit. So, um, but we'll see. It's football season. That's why it's toned down. Bro, you think they give a shit about football in L.A.? Uh, sneaker cons dying? I, I wouldn't say dying. They're not dying. Uh, but uh, it's definitely like... I would say like when I first started like pre-pandemic, you couldn't move. It was so many people. Uh, so definitely it's toned down a little bit. Uh, <clears throat> I just don't, dude, I, I mean, I can imagine like, you see like what this, this event, the got souls, right? Looks good, but I can't, I can't imagine smaller events, bro. Like the small, small events. I don't know how they're going to make it. I really don't. I don't know how they're going to make it. It's only resellers at events now, reselling to each other. There's actually a good amount of people, though. I think that's, like, that's a sometimes a misconception. Like, everyone's like, oh, you're just a reseller. Bro, a lot of people, that's the whole point, is to buy, sell, and trade. A lot of people who, who are not, quote-unquote, resellers bring two or three pairs f with them. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't get that. Like... They're not opening up tables and, like, setting everything up. Like, I guess you can call everyone in there a reseller because most people that go to those events are bringing pairs from their collection that they're trying to sell and they're trying to buy other shit. So, you don't see people just going in there with, a, like, empty pockets, empty hands with a wallet and be like, I want to buy shoes. No. No. You don't see that too often. You have see you see people with like a couple pairs that they have. Like, oh, I'm trying to sell these. I'm trying to trade this. I'm trying to get my shoes I want. You can find some good people in deals at tables. Sometimes, sometimes, I mean, prices are prices are prices, man. They're gonna obviously tax a little bit higher because you're walking out with it that day. And you don't have to. They probably always look at it like, oh well, StockX play. Uh, you don't have you don't have to pay all these fees, right? You buy it from StockX. You got to pay shipping. You got to pay all this. So they do tax a little bit more. I want to sell my used shoes that are harder to resell than keep the cash, not buy anything. Okay. I can imagine, dude, if, you, if you're trying to sell used shoes right now, bro, you might get 50 bucks if you're lucky. And if they're brand new, you probably get 100 Uh, I prefer, to my, I prefer to sell my inventory on StockX and GOAT just to be patient. Okay. Got to be patient. Yeah. Some people just prefer to bring it in. Bring it in and, like, get rid of it same day. Has there been any news lately? Playoff 8s. You guys went crazy on the playoff 8s. I haven't even checked what the playoff 8s are doing. Just curious. Not 270. 270. Anybody got their playoff eights yet? Has anyone got their playoff eights yet? Anyone? Anyone? Who's got their playoff eights? If you guys are new here, just join me. How do we not have 100 likes? Hit that like button. You getting it today? K. Johnson, thank you for the 12 months. SecretCon was chaos. W stream. I appreciate it, bro. You want to hear an L story? I bought three pairs of bread toe lows at their peak for 200 and now Nike is restocking them. And you haven't moved them? You bought three pairs and you haven't moved them? Mine's coming today. Nice. 
Oh, in the Air Jordan 1 Latte. Here we go. Here comes the fake hype. Air Jordan 1 Latte. Oh my god, Sneaker of the Year, Ross. This is the best Jordan 1 ever. This is going to be crazy. Bro, y'all didn't even... Y'all barely went crazy for the Palominos. Dropping in women's sizing. Already an L. Update. Dropping in women's sizing. We'll see if they even look like this. I want them lattes, Ross. They're more lady friendly. Yeah, they uh, more softer tone, more feminine. I guess you can say. Yeah, this is a puff puff pass. Well, it has to be a pass anyways because I can't fit into woman sizing. I can't fit into woman sizing, so. Ross, hit three of the Pokemon decks. Hold till Xmas or sell now. Dude, take the money and run, bro. I don't know what. Hold till Xmas to make what? An extra 50 bucks? It's up to you, bro. The Pokemon decks is the only thing that's reselling right now. I would just take the money and run, bro. While people want them, take them. But you could have a golden deck in there. You never know. If you have a, imagine selling that golden deck. That golden deck could be a thousand bucks. I'm sure they'll have extended sizing on these. Uh, they haven't lately, bro. Not on ones, man. They haven't had extended sizing on, on ones, bro. They've been, like, really kind of, like, pushing the women's market and trying to force a lot of these shoes, like, to be bought by women and not by men. So I doubt it, dude. It's like the satins, man. It's going to be, like, satins. They're actually trying to give women, like, good shoes and just ha make sure women and women have it. Imagine selling it and opening it in front of you and it's gold. <laughs> Bro, you what is wrong with you? You just want to watch people suffer? You guys are miserable. You guys are miserable. You guys get pleasure off of watching people suffer. God. They're charging men's prices for little shoes. Price is going up. What else is there? You said millions of pairs of gratitudes are coming out. Bro, we already knew that. Millions of pairs of that. Dude, they do millions of pairs always for the 11s. We'll see how those go. Millions of pairs. Millions of pairs. Clocks, BBC, go, 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 go. Won't be enough of these think millions of pairs. You think there'll be nuts like that? Maybe you're right. Um, is this gonna be that one holiday shoe that everyone gets? You know what I mean? Is this like it? Is this the one holiday release everyone goes for? Cause I have a feeling, bro. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that it's gonna be like. Most people might just buy one or two shoes and they're it's done. Is it a good time to buy the SB Supreme Rammels? Is it a good time to buy? I haven't checked the prices. Have they? Are they pretty settled? If they settled, I would say yeah. Mario, thank you for the two. Appreciate you, bro. If the price have settled, yeah. I would get them now. You still got time, though. I don't think they're going to be like jumping up anytime soon. But a lot of people have been buying them. I think I talked to like three people on Saturday that... They were like, oh, I bought a new pair of SBs. I was like, which ones? And they all bought those Supremes. They all bought the Supremes. <clears throat> I think I might actually like these more than the Cool Grays. Really? 
feels duplicative from my Concords, which are still in great shape. Yeah, that's what uh, I. That's what my friend said. He said he already has Concords, so he's like, I'm skipping on these. There's no need to get these. Uh, I think I might actually like those more. Damn. All right, J Balvin, super rare. From there, what, at the event? There was only like three pairs, but they haven't really released. So it's really hard to say if they were super rare or not. Uh, what else has popped up as far as on the news front? Anything else has popped up on the news? Is that it? That's been it for the news front? I think it's just going to come down to like... I think it's going to come down to three pairs. Private section had an entire table. We told you to go over there. L, I didn't want to go over there. And B, uh, what are you talking about? I'm talking about people buying. Buying them. I said people. I saw three people buy them. Not sit there and window shop. I, I mean, they, there was Supreme Dunks. There was good amount of Supreme Dunks, at least everywhere. But I'm saying people that bought shoes. Uh, uh, the Whitaker 9060s. The New Balance ones. I thought you guys don't like New Balance. I thought you guys don't like New Balance. The one thing I will say, though, they do look very, very nice. But they do look pastel-y, and I feel like that's kind of like, I don't know. Is, that the, is this the right season to release this shoe? I mean, they do look nice. I mean, wouldn't this be better off in the spring? It's about to be, there's about to be snow on the ground soon. There's going to be snow on the ground. Yeah, they're like Easter colors for sure. Very Easter Sunday ish. But um, they're not bad. They're definitely not bad. I mean, I don't. I think they're the ladies are gonna eat these up. the The ladies love the ninety sixty. Ladies love ninety sixty. I when I see girls like it, whatever they're rocking, or even in the gym, they're wearing ninety sixties. It's definitely one of the more popular shoes right now for women. If the Powerpuff Dunks weren't Powerpuff Girls, those shoes would be fire. Really. Did you see the video of Jerry's Kids opening up the Fog Adidas shoes? I did. And then I just saw someone tag me that the Fog Adidas stuff got pushed to 2024. No one wants the no one wants these APs, SBs. I wouldn't say nobody wants them. I think I don't think they're as hyped as like a normal SB, but they're they're gonna sell out. SBs are gonna sell out. I don't think I don't expect them to do anything crazy. The APs, but people are gonna get them. People are gonna go for them. Oh, there you go. So what did you think of the table with the born and raised AP SB dunks? He wanted 400 for a size four and a half born, born and 800 for a size 10 and a half and 11. Yeah, that's a lot. That's too much. He wanted $800 for it. Yeah, I'm good. I'd wait. Patience, right? Patience, patience, patience. What is the better SB Crenshaw? What is the better SB Crenshaw Yotos? Uh, a lot of people like the Utos. Your Ross came back from Orlando. Going to make going to the parks every day. Back back is tough. Forgot to hit you up to come through. I wasn't around. I wasn't around. You also have Ace Canada. Ayo Canada, New Balance. 
I have no idea what model this is. Hey, yo, Canada. Uh, did you go to Nobu? Yeah, I went to Nobu. I went to Nobu on Friday, like I said. Bro, I was exhausted. This time, that time difference, bro. I don't know how y'all live in the West Coast, man. West Coast, West Coast is rough. I, I can't, I can't do that three-hour time difference. I just can't. I just can't. Nine hundred one, the game. I think in twenty-six months. Wake up! I can't do the time difference, bro. It's rough. Nobu review. Nobu review. Um, I mean, the atmosphere is nice. Uh, it's expensive. I ended up paying like $150 for a date with like, that was just me and M. So it was 150 bucks. We didn't really get much food. Um, I mean, each plate is like $30. Uh, the sushi was really good. Sushi's really, really good. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Hundred fifty, bro. That's a quarter of what I usually spend. What are you? Yeah, cause you're rich. I mean, what do I got? I just got like, we got an appetizer and two meals and some sushi. That's not that's that's not insane. We didn't get dessert or anything. No dessert. I was stuffed. West Coast is the best coast. Yeah. Was Nobu good? It's 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 not bad. It's it's a great um I don't know. It was very like OC ish. Like it's just Hollywood housewife type shit. It was weird. Bro, the plates are mad small, gotta stock up. God. Yeah, 150 you cheap. The 150's cheap, bro. What are you talking about? 150's cheap. 150's cheap. I mean, drinks were like 20 bucks a pop. Doesn't matter which one you got. Drinks were 20 bucks. Uh Sushi was like 30 bucks. The chicken I had was like 30 bucks. I mean, I didn't get the $100 steak. Yeah, 150 is stupid cheap. Stop. Stop it right now, bro. You that's why you f shut the hell up. Shut up. 150 is cheap. Dog, that's why you take your date to Buffalo Wild Wings, bro. Stop it. You spend 150 total, I spend that at Applebee's. Bro, that's because you eat like 10 plates and you get like six apps and you get the little hot fudge sundae. I literally, we got two drinks. Dude, you have to realize, and the portions are like this, dude. You guys don't understand. It, the portions was like this, okay? My piece of chicken was like this. Literally. That's it. That's it. Okay? That's it. 30 bucks for a piece of chicken like this. <clears throat> better than uh, Dave's? Yes, it was better than Dave's. It was actually like a, a, a chicken breast. It wasn't like doused in like a shitty ass batter
normalize three hundred dollar meals, complain about sneaker retail. Normalizing three hundred dollar meals, but complaining about sneaker retail prices is what's wrong. Wait, wait. Throw um, all and complain about sneaker prices wrong, bro. Half these people haven't had been cop sneakers without doing chargebacks, acting like that their package stolen. And then the amount of times I hear how much our retail shoes is beyond me. How much our retail shoes? Yeah. You said you were tired of chicken. Bro, it was either it was either that. I actually I wanted the Wagyu uh ga ga gazers, the gazus, the ga the Wagyu gazus, but they were sold out. They didn't have any left. Piglet, saying thank you for the eleven months. Please tell me you went to In and Out Burger after Nobu. No. No, we didn't go to In and Out this time. We were trying to go to In and Out, but it, dude, I'm telling you, it's just you guys think we have all the time in the world. I don't. We don't have all the time in the world. And that's, uh, and that is what um, I think M kind of realized. Like, M left hungry. No, dude, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because we had um, we had craft, we had craft burgers at Disney. At Disney, whatever, Disney Spring, Disney, whatever it's called over there. Um, one fifty is definitely not bad for a status restaurant. Wait till you have kids, Ross. It's going to get pricey. I'm not going to take my kids to Nobu, bro. Yo, Andy. Ross was a girl looking lost at S-N-K-R-C-O-N-R-A-M-I-T-R-I-P-N. Andy, have a nice life, Andy. Honestly, Andy, you're the biggest loser here. Have a nice life, you clown, dude. I've been wanting to, I, dude, I've been waiting for you to respond. I've been waiting for you. Thank you. Hey, no, hey, no returns. Thank you for your two bucks. Have a nice life. I've been waiting for him to message, dude. That, honestly. Imagine being like, a, I don't understand. Like, listen, you can clown me all you want, but imagine being a grown-ass man and, like, making fun of M. He's a loser, dude. Absolute a loser. <clears throat> and he's got a big pizza as a profile pic. How about take that pizza and go back down into your parents' basement, clown? You're not welcome here, okay? You're not welcome here. The biggest loser in the chat. Dude, leaving leaving messages saying like nasty stuff about M, like loser, absolute loser. If you, if that's what makes you good, the clown on a girl, you're you're just a loser, dude. <clears throat> and I don't care how much you donate. Go go. I don't I don't I don't want your your money, bro. You probably need it more than me. Go go. Go use that two bucks on OnlyFans like you, you probably normally do. Yeah, he's got to go. Uh, what dunks are restocking? Uh, didn't he say he just look, she just looked lost? No, that, that wasn't the reason why. And I'm not going to continue it, dude. No, really, 150 is a lot of money. I might be living the wrong life. If you're going to be a loser in your mom's basement, at least with a meatloaf, not pizza. Uh, you can tell people don't get friends. Never trust a dude named Andy. Uh, what donks are we stalking? It's just the, like, here's here they are right now. Here's a, uh, Here's some of them. Grindhouse burgers in ATL are by far the best burgers I've ever had. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Nah, man. That's what we did, dude. Dude, it's expensive. I don't know how y'all live in the West Coast, man. I really don't, dude. I really don't. I'm sorry. It's, I mean, honestly, it's, to me, it's, it's cool, but it's not all that. 
I just can't. Dude, I don't know how you spent. Dude, I saw gas. Gas is like 560, bro. Y'all literally spending five. Dude, you're literally spending five dollars and sixty cents per gallon to drive a car. You're a nuts, man. You're nuts. Absolutely nuts. Dude, gas is over here is 350. Gas here is 350. Y'all crazy. Dude, it's bad enough like insane. In in Houston it's 320 Ross. Wow. Yeah, 320. 325 over here. Crazy. Wish you did meet up in LA, bro. It's really expensive out here. Taxes and parking. Gas is like 569 less than a gallon. Dude, everybody, like even like I told my uh the Uber the Uber driver was like, "Oh, dude, how much you pay for gas over there?" I'm like, "350." He almost swerved out of the road because he was in shock. He was like, "What?" It's 665 here, but I go to Costco for 533. Jeez. Is this restock happening on sneakers? No, Nike app. Nike app. Nike app, Nike app, Nike app. Nope, on the Nike app, which is the uh the 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 white icon. I believe the white icon. That's it. Yep, the white icon Nike. So right yeah. I assume you just put Nike Duncan. Join the party. Here you go. Join the party. Nike app days. Join the party. We like to party. We like we like to party. We like to party. Nike app day sales. Uh, Nike app day. Guys, they just love it. Bro, there's so many dunks on here. You know it's bad when even Costco gas isn't much difference, but I went to Sam's Club and got two ninety nine a gallon. Costco gas Costco gas must be super like cheap. And they must be like it must burn like off very quick. That's why I drive a Prius. You drive a Prius? That's why mad people drive Teslas out there. I mean, I would buy a Tesla if I had to pay fucking five, six bucks a gallon. Holy shit. It costs you like $80, $100 to fill up every week. It's insane. More than that. On a little ass car. I can imagine if you have an SUV. SUV, probably 200 bucks. Uh, Nike, Nike app is knowing with their dumb notifications. This day will be mid like their shoes. Oh yeah, dude. This this week should be quiet. This week shouldn't be anything crazy. AP is gonna be okay. You guys would go crazy for the uh, the J Balvin's, but we'll see. Other than that, it's kind of like okay. Until you see the charging lines in Vegas, is it? Damn. You can lease a base ass model for th three for like four hundred dollars a month. Super cheap, yeah. Four hundred dollars a month. That's not bad, dude. I filled the the Subi with almost ninety dollars to go to SneakerCon. Jeez. Rashi Coppin Dalvins. Um, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm still on the fence. I'm still on the fence. We'll see. We'll see. Teslas are shit quality and take forever to charge. Yeah. But, yeah, other than that, man, um, what else? The weather is really nice. That's the one thing you you have. That's the one thing I will give California credit is that the weather is really, really nice. It is very smog. You get a lot of smog in the morning, but it's like 70 and breezy. Like, Florida, it's hot. 
you walk around all day, you're sweating everywhere. Like, I'm drenched in sweat. Cali, you're not really. So I will say that. California probably has the best weather. But I don't know if you, if there's that, is that going to really, if I don't know if that's really going to make you, um, you know, commit there to live there. Traffic is absurd. Traffic is absolutely absurd. I've never seen so many, dude, there's just so many people. You guys are just, it's just overpopulated. There's so many people in California. It's crazy. So many people live there. It's crazy. So many people, so many cars. It's nuts. You guys, like, literally, you guys, it feels like everyone's just squeezed in there. So squeezed. And, like, in the apartments and the houses, like, all the houses are closed. All the, everything's closed. It's, it's wild. Now, Anaheim is crazy because Disneyland, people crowd that whole place with strollers and shit. It's a lot. It's a lot. Ross, this weekend I sold my off-white dunk lots, Kobe sixes for my wedding fund. I'm happy I felt down bad, but uh, I felt happy but down bad at the same time. It's trust me. I'd rather trade shoes for a uh, a wife that's gonna make me happy forever. So, go to Japan. Uh, I'd love to go to the Japan. Maybe do some live streams in Japan next year. We'll see. We'll see how this goes, bro. I don't know. I I, I don't know. The, 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 the IRL streams are not easy, dude. The streams are not easy. Like, it does seem like less people watch, but they watch later on. Uh... It's different. It's totally different. It's harder. It's not easy. It's actually it's way harder. That's why no one does it. No one does it. And we're like we're the only people that can do it at these events. Um, it's it's so hard. Ross, did you cop the Kanye shirt at the show? No, I totally forgot about it. That guy that stole the mic on day one. I didn't know who... We, dude, we had we had a lot of weird, awkward encounters. I didn't know who that guy is, but apparently he's got like 1.1 million followers on IG. And he just pranks people. I don't... Dude. It's live, man. You still ain't been to Gatorland. We haven't filled the bar. We got to fill the bar. Fill the bar. Yeah, my boy said that. I didn't know who it was. I don't know. Apparently that dude pranks like... I forget. Someone sent it to me. Someone sent it to me. And he he pranked like... Uh, what was it? NBA Young Boy or something? And he called him Chris Brown? Or who it was? I forget. He just like goes up to celebrities and calls them the wrong names and makes it all weird and, and like that's what he does. That's what he's good at. He's good at making people like I don't know, I guess feel awkward and on edge. Yeah, he calls celebrities the wrong names and stuff, yeah. He did with Nelk as well. What did he do with Nelk? He called Ben Simmons Russell Westbrook. Oh, my God. Yeah. The other guy, though, was just weird. The guy that, the emo guy, the guy that, that the emo kid, the emo kid was just weird. Was like, I don't know. The emo kid was trying to clown me too. Trading your sneakers for a wife is a big L. Uh oh. Are you the guy that got divorced like three days ago? Ross, you look pale and sick. Are you okay? I'm white, bro.
Emo Kid was trash. I don't know. I don't know what he was trying to be. He was trying to be funny, but I just didn't laugh at anything. Uh, Gerald Houston, look him up. Who's Gerald Houston? There's no one under Gerald Houston. Unless you spelt it wrong. That's the guy. There's unless it's another name. There's nothing under like that. Is it spelt like that or is it something else? Oh, with the okay, no O. Yeah, and there's no O. H U S T. Yeah. Yep, that's the guy that stole the mic. Yeah, that's the guy that stole the mic. That's the guy that randomly just came on the stream and stole my mic and was just like, call me the white Roscoe. I have no idea. I never met a white Roscoe. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. He just stand up. I'd be like, yo, I'd be like, what if slavery was reversed? What if the black people were the slave masters and the white people were the slaves? Look at the white like, this is funny right here. Let me hear this. <laughs> Us slaves? <laughs> no, for real, remember Roots? Remember y'all black people, y'all seen Roots, right? Roots, white people, y'all seen Roots? He's like, nah, man, I want to hear a joke. He's like, no, I'm Kuta. I'm Kuta Kute. That part be different from white dude. It's like, your name is Boom Day Matombo. No, I'm Ryan with the Towski. <laughs> even, the, even the slave auctions would be different. Remember, the slaves got auctioned off. Like, can you imagine an African auction off for a white dude? First up, we got a white male named Brad. He can't run, he can't jump, so he can't get away. <laughs> he can't sing, he can't rap, but he can whistle and work. <laughs> Hit him three times, he changed colors. Watch. Red, blue, green, white. <laughs> white dude, what you doing, man? You don't know that joke? You like that joke? Is that all right? <laughs> See, I don't want to be a slave, man. Yeah, I don't want to. Y'all be thinking, I be like, God. Uh, but yeah, that's the guy. It was very, yeah, this is the one I saw. Oh my god, bro, it's Chris Brown, bro. Chris Brown, Chris Breezy, boy. Chris Breezy. That's Chris Brown. Oh, I thought Chris Brown, bro. God. Yeah. And that's why, dude, you just never know who's at SneakerCon, bro. You just never know who's at SneakerCon. Wait, he got Kai? Oh, my God. You know you, bro? Tyrese Maxi, bro. <laughs> Tyrese Maxi, bro. Tyrese Maxi, bro. Tyrese Maxi. Oh, my God, bro. Tyrese, man, I love you, man. It's like the Philadelphia 76ers, bro. Tyrese Maxi, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. You know that's just, yeah, that's his thing. That's his thing. That's his thing. All right. That, now I know who that was. Kelsey, the motion. Help me out, Ross. Hold on. Uh, help me out, Ross. How much is Notre Dame going to be OSU this weekend? Need to get the spread. I have no idea. Uh, that's Hubert. Yeah, he got me. He got me this weekend. Yeah, he clowned me this weekend. He took the mic. Oh my God, it's White Roscoe. Yeah, I, I, I don't even know. It was so awkward. I try. I didn't know who he was. I didn't know who he was. How about the what the buffs? Call me the White Roscoe. 
I don't even know what I was. It was awkward. I didn't know. I I didn't know. No, the chat didn't even help me out. Chat's like, bro, that's he's a prankster. He's. I was like, I didn't. I thought it was. I don't know. I had no idea what to expect. When was that? That was early on, wasn't it? <laughs> he just like <laughs> grabs my mic. Bro, I didn't know. You didn't t go talk to private selection. Didn't he come up back later and hug you and, and call you some basketball player or something? Was that him again? Yeah, that was him again. He called me Austin Reeves. He's like, Austin Reeves. He hugged me again, bro. That guy loved pranking me, man. That was funny, though. This, I had no idea. I gotta stop letting people grab the mic, bro. Come on in, come, come, come. Dude, we gotta take a look at uh, some of these shoes. Why is it yeah. cracking Let's a little bit? Let's take a look at some of these shoes. What? What's up? Yeah. Hey, what's up, y'all? We're live right now. We're live right now. Roscoe, we live right now. We're all people. What's your name, bro? Roscoe. Roscoe. Okay, you the first white Roscoe I've ever seen in my life. Is that your real name? Yeah. yeah. This a, hey, yo, this is white Roscoe, bro. The white dude named Roscoe. All right, I'm going to ask you a question real quick. Okay. All right. All right. On the scale, it's your girl right here? It's my girl. It's your girl? Okay. How long will it take you to bag that? Uh, don't replay this. I, I have no... How long will it take you to bag that? I don't know. It's white Roscoe. Yeah. So that... I mean, there was a lot of shit that happened. This was a fun stream. I think this one was one of our better streams. Unbelievable, bro. Yo. That made you, made you cringe a little bit? I feel you. Trust me, when you're in the moment, I don't know how to act. Who is it? Let's see the chat. I want. I didn't see this. I want. Oh yeah, look at this. Do you guys want to shout out your Instagram? Yeah, um, it's Phoenix Diana. And then mine is just Mariah Heredia. M I R A Y A H E R E D I A. It was nice meeting you guys. Oh. There you go. Uh, must cop. Yeah, WM. PJ Tucker and Yo. You wanna buy him? We all in, man. Y'all is anybody? Same with the shoes, our hoodies. We got some clothes. This was good. Damn. Put it away for fun. Right in, bro. Give Will food. some love right now, bro. Let me see. I even watched this. Dude, this is nuts, man. This is crazy. Who's the new spot? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Dude, this is crazy. Go play Diono. Someone's like, go dunk on him. Lost Gilly Court with a quick spray. He told me. We're at the same height. Still 
Uh, still mad you didn't show the born and raised table with stream. Dude, that guy doesn't want to be on camera. He said it multiple times. Dank, got me dunks. Thank you for the two. I, he doesn't want to be on camera. He doesn't want to be on camera. I try. I mean, we've. I've tried to talk to him like countless times. He's like, don't show my face. So I just, have, I just, I just avoid it. Yeah, I just avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> bro was just like straight up said fuck it. Did you hear him? He's like fuck it. Yeah, he's like yeah fuck it. He's like fuck it. I'll have to. You guys have to wait to watch the clip later. Uh, <clears throat> but we do. I mean, everyone like is that my like? He's 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 like he's. Is he taller than me? He's a little taller than me. He's a little taller than me. A little. But his arms are way longer. And his hands are like double the size. So I will give him that. Who cares? Show his face? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you guys need to stick together at the show. Cameraman always wandering off. He shows wanderers off sometimes. Uh, yeah, he was fine. He was cool to talk to. Ask him what his upcoming thoughts on the roster. You only get like, dude. You only get. You only get like three or four questions tops, dude. You only get three or four questions, and that's it, dude. No need to protect resellers' identities. It's not that, dude. It's also just, I know, I'm not, it's not their identities, dude. It's just like, he just, some people don't want to be on camera, man. Like, it is what it is. Dude went to a public event and didn't want to see his face. We should not put his face all the internet. Dude went to a public event and didn't want to see, didn't want people to see his face. We should put that face all the internet. There's no privacy in public. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm not trying, like, what am I going to get from it? Show his face? Like, what, did, what does that do anything? It, it's just yeah it's not gonna do anything you guys really care you want to see a guy he has he has corn rolls his face is all tatted up he has tats all over him there you go that's what he looks like and he has a beard <clears throat> so Nah, Will did an amazing job this weekend. He's getting stuck. He was getting stuck in there, man. Yeah. Did you ever get your mic back? Nah, I I lost it. I don't know. I don't know what happened to it. I don't think someone stole it. I think I just probably put it somewhere and I can't find it. If you guys are new here, just join. How come we don't have 200 likes, bro? We've been going for like an hour and a plus. Hit that like button. Run it up. Run it up. He probably associated with Born and Raised. No, he's not associated with Born and Raised. He's at every show. He's at every show. He's the only table with about 30 to 40 early pairs. Just like a, well, like one or two shoes with like early with like one or two shoes early with through with like 30 or 40 pairs of them. He's at every sneaker con. He goes to all of them. The 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 Minneapolis, he had the Terra Squad. He had the, all the Terra Squads early. He had the Kobe Halos early. I mean, he goes to all of them. He's probably on the run. No, or, or sometimes, like, maybe they don't want to, like, ruin their... I don't know. They don't want to ruin it. So, maybe they just don't want to ruin their plug. I don't know. You can have that. If you go to SneakerCon, ask them. I don't know. Today, what are we doing? Monday. You get the bag and fumble it. 
There you go. Super game is like a dope game anyways. Dude, this was probably the most... This is probably, honestly, I don't even know how I got this, dude. I don't even know how I ended up getting this, man. Like, this was probably one of the craziest things we, I probably will ever have. Uh, is that... I, I just, dude... Like, I don't think you understand. Like, you watch this live. Who watched this live? Who watched this live? Who watched this live? Chaos. Did you talk to Quavo about offset and takeoff? I could not. I can't. I, dude, I had, dude, it, it's like, honestly, in the time, it's like, you got to go now. Like, go, go now, ask. And it's just like three or four questions. You got three or four questions tops, and that's it. And like, we just talked about Synchron shoes, and then like, ask if he's spending money today. And that's it. Yeah, I had to ask what's relevant, bro. I didn't want to go. I wasn't like, it wasn't a full interview. Like, I didn't have this type of time. And this is like, he's talking about his business and everything. So it's like, it was just nuts, man. He had to do something for sneaker con. <laughs> oh, I did that. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Like, like, what am I gonna do? Like, how, like. This is nuts. Like, it's just crazy, dude. Like, it's just, it was mad. It was madness, man. Like, pretty cringe how people worship these people. He's a human. I, I don't know. I just try to ask questions. For me to even get, like, that time to get, like, three or four questions, like, that personal time. Like, it was only me and this guy in eBay. eBay got a couple questions to ask him, and that was it. And this guy, I don't know who this guy is. He's a TikTok. He's, I guess he's a TikToker or something. I have no idea. Did he try to get a discount on some fours? Bro, he couldn't even shop. They didn't even let him shop. He literally went a full circle and left. He couldn't he couldn't shop. Like, look at this. Look, look at <laughs> Now, I didn't even see. I haven't even watched it, the footage, bro. Look at this. He dropped. Did he fall? Oh, my God. Did he fall? He didn't tell me this. Did he fall? Did he fall? He dropped the camera? 
Oh, I think something went, went oh. Oh, the wiring? He Oh, he didn't fall. I think he mentioned something about the, his, the wiring. His, the wiring. I think his, the wiring got caught on somebody. Look at this. He can't shop. He can't shop. Like, he, he, he was going to... The whole thing... I, so, his managers... I don't know. You'll see his manager. Or one of his managers. We talked to his manager the day before. And, um, like, leading into it. That I, we were going to be with him sneaker shopping and he was going to go to table to table take a look at some stuff maybe buy some shoes and shit but like he just i he i don't know if he was interested in shopping or just like like that's his manager right there the white hoodie white hoodie guy is his manager so yeah he's helping him right now um i'm guessing the whole thing was just didn't go to plan it was chaos yeah it was just chaos but they, they wanted as much content as possible. So they were happy about that. I heard this secret card wasn't as good as Dallas. Um, for what? Like for vendors? Maybe. Maybe. LA was... Uh, this was This was more... Secret card LA is always like this. They, it's, it's more about this. It's more about like celebrities, um, you know, people coming in. I guess what there was a bunch of random people there with too. I someone said that Sa Sarah Michelle Geller, the actress, pulled up. Um, like a bunch of actors pulled up and stuff. So, are you playing with MK One? Are you? I was worried about Starbucks. I was too. We couldn't even get outside too. We lost M through all this. Yeah, the Buffy girl was there. Yeah, Buffy the vampire. She was there. You should have interviewed her, bro. She doesn't look anything like she used to. I, I didn't know till after. She's gotten so much. I think she's gotten some plastic surgery done. I don't know. I, I did not even recognize her. Lush, you got a clip from the basketball game? What basketball game? And then, like, I don't know, they did, like, we took the volume off. Like, people were doing their skits. They had to do their skits and stuff. Like, it was just nuts. This was just nuts. So many... They were doing his skit about like, yeah. No audio, cameraman is selling hard. <laughs> yeah, we need audio. So I'm like, nah, you can't. It's their content. They're filming, bro. Yeah, they were filming. They were filming their little skits and stuff over here, and then he dipped. There was a basketball game um, in L.A. Yeah, there was a basketball game. We didn't catch it, though. When, when was that? Dude, it's so hard because of the times. Nothing went according to plan, bro. Nothing went according to plan. Ross, is sneaker culture on life support right now? Um, it's, it's, it, it's as close as it's ever been. I'll tell you that. It's as close as it's ever been. Uh, I need a better cameraman. He does a pretty good job, bro. I don't think you understand what goes into it. It's not easy. He has a lot of um camera. He has a lot of cords. Everything's live too. It's not recorded. Everything's live. And it's a long. It's a lot of hours. All right, here's stock numbers. Um. All right, so USC dunk, Valentine's Day dunk, and multiple swoosh dunk is today. The rest should be later this week. So there's three dunks today. Multiple swoosh dunk is 2,100 pairs. The um, USC dunk or the other one, this is just leftovers, bro. 1,800, 17,000 for Valentine's Day. 17,000 for Valentine's Day dunks. 
This is just leftovers, bro. Literally just leftovers. Been out of the loop. Just here to support you, brother. What up, distinguished gentleman? What's up, man? Nike app. This is Nike. So Valentine's Day dunk, USC, and multiple swoosh dunk is today. Multiple swoosh is 2100 USC is 1800 and Valentine's Day is 1700 What's the multiple swoosh one? It's this one. It's like a panda, but it's got more swooshes. I don't know. Someone sent me this. It's a panda, but multiple swooshes. Do I still have Valentine's Day dunk? Yes, and I haven't even worn them, bro. Yeah. Easy pass. Bro, everyone's passing everything, bro. Passing everything. Uh, good to finally meet you and drop it up, man. You too, bro. Absolutely. What up? Absolutely, man. Absolutely, JR. Hell yeah. Dude, so I can't. What the heck? Imagine being a grown man with multiple swish dunks. What? <laughs> Why you got to be so ruthless, man? Kiff Toronto, huh? Kiss opening up their Toronto store. Jeez. Dude, how many... Dude, for this, to say the sneaker market is dying and this guy has opened up how many stores in the last two years... Is this the, dude, Kith is like exploding, huh? Kith is really, really exploding. And maybe it's like this, like, what's taking off to me and what I'm seeing, maybe it's this premium experience. Rough off, what up, bro? New to the channel. What's up, man? What's good? What's good? What's good? Maybe it's like this premium experience now. You know? Maybe it's not just like the Foot Lockers and all this. It's like this high end feel that people are looking for. This place is huge. It's two, it, dude, it's two floors. This place is huge. Clothing on the first. Sneakers on the second. It's either, it's either now we got two classes of people. We either got money or not, or you don't. Bro, the shoes cost the same no matter where you go. So I don't know if you say people the people that got money and people don't. The sh dude, the Jordans are still the Jordan price. The New Balances are still the New Balance price. It, I, it's maybe this feeling of like premium, catering to like to old men who date young. What the hell are you talking about? Kith is more of a sneaker is not is more than a sneaker store. It is, but it's sneakers though. At the end of the day, they make they do collabs on shoes. They sell shoes. They're a retailer. Yes, they have exploded in their clothing. I think they have I think their clothing has taken off tremendously. And that's why they could do two floors. It is in one of the richest areas in the city. Is it really? All right then, never mind. Maybe that's just maybe they're just aiming for that. I don't know. That's interesting. So maybe he's feeling like the upper class. Bringing the sneaker store to the upper class. I don't know. Must be in Soho. This is in Toronto. They just opened. This is the this is the first one in Toronto in Canada. Excuse me. He just opened this up. 
And he's Jr. is in Toronto. And he said this is the the one of the richest parts in in Toronto. Interesting. So maybe yeah, look at the rooftop. <laughs> like, so maybe it's like bringing that, I don't know, that sneaker culture to them. I don't know. It's bringing the upper class feel to the working class. Yeah, but this is in the this is in the. Uh, He's saying that this is in the area of the city. It's called Yorkville. Yorkville. Interesting. Yorkville. Yorkville. So it's it's luxury shopping vibe without paying luxury pricing. But it's in a luxury neighbor, neighborhood, though. I mean, they also have Kith Beverly Hills, don't they? Don't they have Kith Beverly Hills? So it's 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 all it's like it's weird. It's kind of like, yeah, bringing the premium luxury, but it's in a luxury area, but it's Jordans and Nikes, plus his clothing line. His t-shirts are expensive. Yeah, 75 bucks for a damn Kith uh, B shirts. It's, it's luxury streetwear. Luxury streetwear. Ross, it's mostly clothing. I mean, it does look like a lot of clothing. Do you think he's trying to get into that upper? Watch his kiss shirts are going to be up to like $100 plus now. Would you buy kith shirts if, if eventually he raises the price to like $100 plus? I wouldn't be shocked. If he feels like his brand and his brand is get increasing in value, I wouldn't be shocked if he ups the price of his stuff. I mean, he's even got ASICs. Look at all the ASICs, bro. Look at all the ASICs in Canada. Whole dedicated wall to ASICs. Look at this. It's a restaurant for damn cereal. It's a... It's a this is like the craziest thing ever. He's got a full-on restaurant for cereal and soft-served ice cream. <clears throat> Drake and Braun stay eating in this area. When they're in town, NBA players, celebrities, etc., all end up in this neighborhood. Really? Damn. It's like that, huh? Kith treats. Damn. It's called Kith treats. I know it's called Kith treats, but it's like, look how premium this is. This isn't no um, ice cream truck. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, he must be doing something right again. If everybody else, if every, if every, if everybody else is like just treading, and he's the one that's growing, he's doing something right. Look at the models they use: men with gray, all female models, young. Yeah. It's 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 wild. Average Toronto house over there is one point four million. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh, is that the Miami one? The restaurant? No, that was the new one. They just opened up. That was the new one. They just opened up. Unbelievable. Average house in GTA area is generally is over 1 million Canadians. Canada? Damn. What? I think he's trying to grow in order to sell, uh, sell to LVMV like Virgil. I mean, eventually, at one point, y y you would like to cash in, right? Don't have to work. Your kids don't have to work. Your grandkids don't have to work. You know? You, you, I mean... Work on something. I don't know. 
Eventually, yeah, right? Wouldn't that be everybody's kind of goal? The people who know what they're doing are growing. Private selection, common hype, JC, cool kicks, sneakers must, sneakers must ain't doing too bad. Well, to me, I think they, they definitely, people have changed their strategies for sure, right? I think that's the key. Oh, it's changing your strategy. You can't continue. If you can't be keep, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over again. It's like anything in life, if, right? If you do it, if it's if it's working, but when it stops working, are you gonna keep doing it? No, you gotta figure out a different formula. Yeah, you gotta figure out a different formula. Um, why did they remove the Balvins on sneakers app? I don't know. I'm right here with you. Did they just remove it? Did they get pushed? Um. <clears throat> so I don't know what they're doing. No, Balvin's are right here, bro. Could be just your phone. Uh, I want the Balvin's too clean. Ash, yeah? It seems like you're enjoying your vacation. Post it away. The treats area isn't just for treats. It's a mini cafe incorporated into a few kids stores as well called Sedellas. My homie is running that area of the new store. Oh, okay. So is it like, a, like he probably just like a collab? Like he probably just like, instead of him building it, he probably just got with them and hey, let's combine it. And obviously they're probably raking in too. So they just, yeah, yeah, it's actually, it's kind of like, it's kind of like Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins, right? Dunkin' Donuts is like, nah, we're not going to make our own ice cream. We'll just get Baskin Robbins and we'll share the same, sh share the same location with them. That way you get your donuts and you get your ice cream. It's actually pretty smart. It's actually really, really smart. It's like, yeah, <laughs> I think it's something like that, yeah. Oh, yeah, Canadians don't know about that. Tim Hortons. All right, it's Tim Hortons out there. I forgot. For my Canadians, it's Tim Hortons. When is the restock, Ross? It should have already happened, right? It, it was only uh, Valentine's Day dunk, uh, USC dunks, and um, the multiple swooshes. I, it seemed like 90% of the people in here weren't interested in it, so I like kind of like passed. Let me see. Did they end up dropping? Oh, it's at 11? Okay, it's at 11 now. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We didn't miss it. Then we didn't miss it. We didn't miss it. It's at 11. Thank you. Balvin's show up on my sneakers feed. Yeah, it's it's here. There you go. It's at 11. Thank you. Yep. If you guys are new here, just make sure you guys hit that like button. Appreciate you guys hanging out with me this morning. We're back in the office. We should be here all week. Um, we do have... Only GS Georgetown dunks. Oh, GSs. I wish I would have talked to a vendors a little bit more and asked them if, like, I'm curious if they were if they're still selling dunks like they used to. I did talk to, um, I did talk to one seller, and he's telling me that all like really like what's super super popular right now is the vast gray dunks. Do you guys know what those are? Is that even a thing? No, it's not that one. It was like an all gray dunk. I don't know what the, which one it was. I think it was this one, the two-toned. It was one, I don't know. It's one of these. It was a GS pair, I think. It was the two, I think it was this one, maybe. I think it was this one. Yeah. Yeah. I think he, that's what they're telling me, dude. They're saying that they're selling this one a lot. And then the pink one. This one, the triple pink. The triple pink. Bro, 
that's what's that's what they're selling right now. That's what they're selling heavy. That's where we're at. And the and he said the kids uh the Travis kid shoes. And you know why? Do you know why? Because little young girls wear their shoes, parents buy them shoes, and they're not really super expensive. They're still affordable. So that's why they're moving. And obviously Barbie, one of the, one of the more popular movies, if not the probably biggest movie of this year. Uh, I hope you banned that. Yeah, dude, I threw... Dude, Alan, you missed it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I banned him. Dude, he donated, and I banned him right away. Thank you, Andy. Thank you, Alan. Excuse me. Absolutely, bro. We have... I mean... Sorry. I just have... We don't need people like that here, bro. I don't give, I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit how much he donates. I don't give a shit. He's gone. Uh, when do you think Balvin 3s will be at once they all pairs in hand? They're going to be in the 300 range. Like, We'll see. We'll, we'll see what they will end up at, but I mean, they have to be at the 300 range. I just can't see people spending more than 400 bucks on shoes right now, bro. It's so... Everything's super pricey. I think, honestly, that whole Yeezy drop... The whole Yeezy drop crushed people. It literally, to me, from what I'm saying, from my point of view, that Yeezy month crushed a lot of people. And, and I think it might have set some people back. And that was what, last month, right? Was that last month? Which makes sense because you got what? You throw it on your credit card, you got to pay it off the month after. It's wild. Statics are three, static 350s are 170. Bro, I just sold my Carbon Belugas DS for 180. Tell, that's what I'm telling you guys. Bro, we just looked at these. These are like 220. These are retail now. These are retail. The game is crazy right now. Game is crazy. Now, you could sit back and say like, "Yo, bro, they could everything could shoot back up again." It's possible, but I don't know when. I don't know. I don't know when, man. I don't know when. And then looking at next year, bro, next year, it looks like they're just going to do 2020 all over again. All the big dunks are coming back. The curry, medium curries, ugly ducklings, Brazils. Every big dunk is releasing next year as a restock. Then you got bread fours, which should be leather bread reimagined fours should be everywhere. Military fours, military blue fours, Probably one of the biggest, most anticipated shoe of next year is coming out. It's insane. You have to hold these these longer. Too many folks have pairs. It's all. I, I, I. How long, Gorgon? Though, that's the thing. I don't think people can just sit, take Yeezys and put it in a a, a warehouse and wait ten years, bro. Become boob. You know what I mean? We've been saying the game is crazy for like a year. When can we say, could this be the new norm? Um, Wait till like next year, spring of next year. Let's see how like the holiday season. This is the first time we're going to see a holiday season like this. So I want to see how the holidays pan out because a lot of people I know I mean, I can tell you, the holidays, as far as YouTube is concerned, and sneakers is the biggest time of the year. I mean, a lot of YouTubers cash in um, and make probably, I would say, like 30 to 40% of their salary, maybe, 
if not during the holidays, they make a lot during the holidays. I mean, numbers go way up, views go way up, people are buying shoes, there's good releases, and uh, we'll see. We'll see how the holidays, if the holidays is flat, it might not be good. And then, plus, Halloween, dude, the Halloween, there, is there a Halloween dunk this year? Yeah, it's the candy corn, which is a miss. The candy corn SB. So why did you buy them? Which one? Why did I buy these? Well, I'm a content creator too, though, man. So, you know, I make videos and stuff, and I and I uh, we take a look at them. You know, it's also you know I've I make a stream out of it. I make videos on it. I post about it. So, <clears throat> I'm a content creator. At the end of the day, right? People holding Yeezys will regret it. Trends are more powerful than rarity. Yeah. Let's see the Halloween dunks. You haven't seen the Halloween dunks yet? I'm more, honestly, I'm more excited for Halloween Air Forces than I am for the dunks, the SBs this year. I'm surprised you haven't seen it. Then you sell, then you sell it on Wanted. Yeah. And obviously, Wanted's a huge sponsor of the channel. And you guys end up getting a great price for it. So there you go. It, it actually works out better. Like, cause I, like I said, I bought those carbon belugas. I made my content with it. I would think about wearing it. I'd rather just sell it. I sold it for 175, 180. Someone got a great deal for it, right? In my community. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't just give away, I can't just give away shit for free every, all the time, but if I can hook people up with amazing deals, that's just as good to me. This is the Halloween dunk. Loss, when joining your channel, is there an option to pay for a year instead of monthly recurring? Um, unfortunately, no. That is just the, uh, that's just the YouTube. That's YouTube. I don't have any, like, I can't bypass that. Um, but I would love to still have you. <laughs> Join today. Join today. Hey. Um, should I? Hold on. Let me get a drink. early to this my new shorts again I'll let you know don't be buying no shorts you will get new you will get access to my new shorts man the waffle shorts with native language it says native on the back the waffle shorts, bro. It's velour, super soft. I think we might just switch this out to make these black. But, yeah. I, they're not ready yet. This is just a sample pair. <laughs> I'll let you know when they'll drop. Let me do my photo shoot and everything. I got to do my marketing campaign. And I got to seed. I'm going to seed a couple people. Uh, but, yeah. So, these are my new shorts. I'm really, really excited for these, man. I'm really happy. These came out really well. I got these for men and women. So women, if you want a little booty cut, want to show the little booty, um, we will have some of those. I don't have that many women uh, shorts, though, so it will be relatively limited. So if you want to get it for your wife or your girlfriend, um, they, they probably will sell out. Like, I, didn't, I didn't buy a lot of them. So, uh, But for the men, there should be a decent amount. I don't think it's going to be that much. Uh, so we'll see. 
We get in shorts t- till November. Summer is done. Uh, so, you still don't wear shorts around your house? Nice little gift. So that's coming out soon. And then, um, yeah, let's see. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? I'm excited for these. I think you guys are going to love these. Uh, 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 uh. It's almost ready. That's it. It's some. It's something coming soon. Woo! We got a lot of good stuff coming out. Ross, don't show them them shorts to DJ Khaled. He'll want them ASAP. Um, I might be going. It's up to you guys. I, I'm really thinking about going down there. I'm going to make some calls and some messages. I can't promise anything right now if he doesn't if if my if the person I know will be there, I might be able to get an interview with Jay Balvin. I don't know yet. I'm trying to like I might be able to talk to Jay. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm tr- I'm I'm pulling some strings here. But I'm hoping to be down there next Friday. I might I might try to get down there next Friday to go to the store. Bro, I can get you people down here. Come on. Josh. You hey Josh, you want to do dinner? I'm thinking about going down there Thursday night and go back Friday. I can't make no promises. Yeah, no promises. No promises. Hundred percent. Let's do it. I'm thinking about taking the bright line. Just opened up, so I'm thinking about taking the bright line down f- Thursday, getting a hotel right by the store, and then uh, just going to the store, camp out, shoot some footage, do a live stream, and figure that out. But we'll see. <clears throat> just trying to get. I'm just trying to get out there. Trying to touch grass, right? Go touch grass. It's too. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to do something different, bro. It's this week, right? No, next week. This week is the release of his shoes, but uh, next week is the... He's going to be at DJ Khaled's store. I'll be in Miami for Drake. Nice. We got Tampa this weekend, too. We got Tampa this weekend. We got Tampa... Um, I'll be at Tampa Sneaker Con this weekend. And then I'm still trying to figure out Phoenix uh, in like a couple weeks. Russ, aren't you moving end of this month? I'm moving this week. (laughs) So bear with me. Bear with me. I'm trying to get out of here Sunday. My goal is to be, I'm moving out Sunday. No, because we don't stream on Sundays. I'm trying to get out of here Sunday and be, you'll see a new, hopefully, Hopefully a new, I'll be at a new spot on Monday. Yeah, I'm moving. I, I, I bought a, um, I bought a place. I got a place. It's a bigger spot. Where are you moving to? I don't want to tell you exactly where, where, but I am, uh, going to be closer to like, I'm going to be south or south. I'm north Orlando right now. Well, I'm actually in the city. I'm like in downtown. No, nah, I'm not moving to Nova Scotia. I'm not in down I'm like I'm like in the city city. Like you t- walk like take a scooter. I'm like 4 minutes, 5 minutes away from Trophy Room, which is like the heart of the city. I'm like 3 minutes, 4 minutes away from Amway. I'm going to move out of the city a little bit, a little bit souther, closer to like Universal Disney area. So, I'm still in Orlando. I'm still in Orlando. I'm not going to leak my, my place. I got a gated community, bunch of old folks. We're going to be good. 
Ross, you got a house or condo? Condo. I don't want to buy a house. Next, if I'm going to buy a house, I'm buying a house with M. Uh, I mean, I can't. I can't. Yeah. Will you need a car? Yes. That's going to be coming at the end of the year, hopefully. End of the year, car. Um, so, you can play shuffleboard with the old folks. I'm going to be doing laps with the... I'm going to do the aerobics, the pool with the floaties, with the noodles. I'll be in the pool doing the aerobics with the old people. Come on, let's do the YMCA. Let's go, let's go, let's go. YMCA. That's what we're going to be doing in the pool. Absolutely. Live stream it? I will. And then you just, all you're going to see is a bunch of, the, 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 you, come, you know the old ladies. The old ladies with the flab underneath the arms? You are. Oh, the old ladies with the flabs. Just, that shit's like bobbing in the water. Yeah, you know that shit's jiggling? That shit that jiggles. You know the old, yeah, you know grandma. When that thing is jiggling, she cooking up something by the, the stove. You know she's cooking up something good by the stove if you see those arms and that, that back, that, that tricep jiggle. So you gotta see them all jiggling by the pool, the saddlebags. You call them the saddlebags? That's a good one. The bingo arms, yeah. They call them the saddlebags, that's great. <laughs> Car shopping live stream, we could. Uh, I probably won't, I, honestly, dude, I don't even know. Dude, the prices of cars are so crazy now. I don't even know what I would get. I, I don't even know what I get. You guys want me to spend like $1,000 a month on a car payment? I don't even know if I would want that. I don't even drive. I don't go anywhere. I have no friends. I'm a loser. All right, so, yeah, these are the Halloween ones this year. Yeah. Honestly, nothing too crazy. Get a Hellcat, get a Charger, get a Charger. I kind of, I'm a big guy, bro. I, I, if I get a car, I would probably, honestly, I would want to, I would want an SUV. I would want an SUV, man. Uh, you, people say I'm short. Like you, when you see me, I'm pretty, I'm, I'm a pretty big guy. This is the one I think I'm gonna get. If I'm gonna get a SU, if I'm gonna get a Halloween shoe, I'm gonna get these. I like these for some reason. I think these are pretty dope. But I was looking at the Broncos, bro. A couple people have Broncos here, and they look really nice. <clears throat> get a Jeep, Ross. I do like the um the new Jeeps. My my sister has a Jeep. My mom has a Jeep. De Niro, thank you for 14 months. Not for nothing, Ross, you're a big guy. How the hell did you drive a GTI? I had the seats all the way back, bro. It was a four-seater. My GTI was a four-seater. I whipped that thing around, bro. I love that. That that car was so quick. Um, I had the Autobahn edition. It was so nice. Dude, I bought that car brand new. Out of college, brand new, thirty-five thousand dollars, and I was paying three hundred bucks a month. I only put like five thousand down. All the money I saved, I put five thousand down, and I was only paying three hundred bucks a month. I if dude, if that's today, I'm paying like six hundred dollars a month. You should have kept it. Dude, it had 200,000 miles. 200,000 miles on it, bro. I drove that thing everywhere. I drove it everywhere. So about those, about these dunks. 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes, 30 minutes. There's not much happening today for the dunks. It's Autobahn, Ross. Oh, sorry. Autobahn, excuse me. Autobahn, Autobahn. Excuse me. Um, and I got that car, I got that car cause like my, my ex, 
my ex had a GTI too. We both had GTIs. She had the two door. I had the four door. So once, once, uh, once she left me, once she, once she left me, I just sold that shit. I got, I got rid of it. I don't want to look at that car again. I put down 3,500 for my 2021 Jetta in 2021 and paid 225 a month. God bless because of my credit. Woo. Nice. <clears throat> she broke up with you? Yeah, she broke up with me. It was the best decision ever. But it was like, it was at the point where it's like, it was like, it was like, who had the, we both like didn't like each other anymore. And it was like, who had the guts to leave who first? You know what I mean? Especially since we were together for like five years. But it worked out. It worked out. She didn't like shoes, huh? She didn't like social media, period, bro. She hated that I was always on into social media. I told you she, dude, um, I started with Bane, bro. That's how I also, that's how I started with social media. People don't even realize that. Bane had over this is when Instagram was first popping off. Um, now Instagram sucks. But Bane had I had Bane at like 65,000 uh, followers on Instagram. I would just post Bane. Like we would just do videos, post Bane, pictures of Bane, Bane doing dumb stuff. It was Bane the Frenchie. That was his IG. She literally like I would I, I would work on that and I literally got to the point where companies, dog food companies were sending Bane free food, free stuff, all of it. And um she hated it. She absolutely hated it. It hated it. Is it still up? No, when we broke when we when we broke up, she deleted it. She deleted it. She deleted it. She she took the account and deleted it. She sounds like a normal person to you. Well, I'm not normal then. Obviously, I'm not normal. Clearly, I'm not. I'm not normal. Got an interview today. Wish me luck. You got it, Alan. Let's go. You got this. I'm not normal. Have you not realized that? It's pretty self-explanatory. I, 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 I hang out with you guys on the internet. There's obviously something wrong with me. Make another Bane account? I've tried, but it's so much effort, bro. It's so much work and time. You know what I mean? It's so much work and time. At least we aren't imaginary. You know what, though? Like, that's why you can say this is corny or not. You can say this is corny. But dead ass. And this is the main, this is one of the main reasons why I want to get out there is because, dude, like, I love doing this. But, like, when I go to these sneaker events and I meet you and I see some of you guys, you make it all worth it, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, I can't thank you guys enough, like, for the amount of people that come up and say what's up to me and just, like, like big-ass smile, like, excited, shake my hand and take a picture. Like, it's crazy. It's, ev it's, it's crazy to even think about. You know what I mean? Like, one dude, like, literally, like, was out of breath. He's like, I've been running around. I, couldn't, I was looking for you. And I was like, I was just shocked. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. And like, I didn't sign up. Like, I didn't honestly like, I do this because I love it and I love hanging out with you guys, but I don't really, I, even for me, bro, sitting here, I don't even realize the impact. I don't even. I just, I always tell myself, I'm just a normal guy, bro. I'm just, a, I'm just an idiot with a freaking microphone that says dumb shit. I don't even notice the impact. <clears throat> so it's like, it's dope. It's really cool. And I always, I love the eye roll from your girlfriends. Trust me. It's, it's, it's great. It's absolutely great. I love, I love that. 
some of you guys come up with your, you bring your girlfriends, your wives, and like, as soon as you guys meet me and like, oh, can you take a picture? They always like, rolling their eyes. This guy, this is the guy that he listens to every morning. So, um, I definitely, I definitely love it. And especially the West Coast, though. It was really important for me to go to LA. Heck nasty, this one if you want to line cook. Yo, what's good, Ross? Appreciate everything you do for us, the channel, the community. Almost time for that new chicken. Chicken and W's for life. Let's go, baby. You're coming up on, yeah, two years. Damn. Yeah, and plus, like I said, it was uh it was important for me to get out there because I don't go to the West Coast that often. I just don't. I don't. It's a it's a hike. You know what I mean? It's not an easy trip. It's expensive as hell. Uh it granted, you know, Sneaker Con has been super gracious. And has been taking care of me on some front, but it's still very expensive. And it's a five-hour flight, bro. Five-hour flight crammed into a seat next to a crying baby. It's not fun. I'm not flying first, uh, first class. I'm not flying private. So it's like we go all the way to the West Coast five hours. It's a long trip. So um, for me to even get out there, it's, uh, it's important. So that's why uh, I want to do L.A., and I really want to go to. Uh, I really want to go to Phoenix. I've never been to Phoenix, so it's important for me to go to Phoenix. Even if Phoenix is not even the greatest, biggest sneaker con ever, or not, even if it's mid, to me, like yeah, it might look mid to you guys on camera and stuff. But for me, it's important for me to meet some of you guys because you guys have been showing love for years, and I don't go to the West Coast too often. So. Uh, I'll be in, so I'll be in uh, Phoenix. <clears throat> you should be flying first class. It's a work expense. Uh, it's not. Come to Toronto, SeekerCon, please, Poppy Ross. I, I was thinking about Chris. Honestly, I probably would have ended up in Toronto, but because of the hurricane and they had to reschedule Tampa, I got to go to Tampa because Tampa is only an hour down the road. Like, that's stupid. I got I to gotta, I gotta stay home. Like, Ross, you going to SneakerCon Singapore? Um, if they do anything like that, and uh, if SneakerCon would like me to go and to show it off, which they might want that, um, yeah, I would absolutely be down to go. Absolutely would down to go. Uh, do you need a tiny violin? No. Um, I, I just... Even you, like, dude, even you, if you want to come in and hate on me all day, every day, I appreciate you too, man. I really do. And, like, uh, if there's something wrong, like, and you're going through some shit, if you need me, if you want to reach out to me, reach out to me. Because uh, I, I feel like, I, I, I'm honestly, I'm like 90, I would say like 90% sure that most of you guys that do hate me, you probably would get along with me in person. Like, I'm not a bad guy. Like, so. But uh, if you think I'm cringy and you just don't like my, if I have a punchable face to you, then I understand. Like, everyone has those people that they just, like, have a punchable face. But uh, I'm sure I'd get along with you, man. Uh, you want to hear Gorgon's hot take from yesterday? It was a terrible one. Was it about the J Balvins? I I didn't catch it till later on. It was about J Balvins, wasn't it? This is a deep stream. Oh, that's deep. We're going deep. We're going deep in there. Going nice and deep. Uh. A little bit longer. A little bit longer. Haters are annoying as F when they harass constantly and mods don't stop them. Well, I, I you do know you have like one of the worst. You have some of the worst takes, Gorgon. I, j I think you know that. I think you've accepted that. You have some of the worst takes on this internet. And... Uh, I think you're used to it. Here's a live, dude. 
This is a, hey, we got a live look at Nike's bot protection. Here we go. Live look at Nike's bot protection. <laughs> Bro, why is this video so funny to me? <laughs> Bro, what are they even doing? They just letting that the guy just walk in his ass. Screw you. <laughs> well, that's classic. Red Rover, literally. We all have the right to have takes. Absolutely. Uh, dude said Balvin's won't resell because they have quote unquote gay colors. Oh my god, dude. Really, bro? First of all, it's not even like that. I don't know why you even say that. Like, Gorgon, come on, bro. They're not even that bad. It's like, who cares? Uh,. Yeah, but it boying you over takes. Yeah, but takes like that is kind of like, come on, bro. Come on. But honestly, though, the people that are so, like, sensitive about that stuff and always have takes like that are usually people that go, you know what I mean? That are you, I don't know, dude. Are you, like, are you, like, insecure about something? Like, what's wrong, bro? Uh, oh, you never said you get... Yeah. It's like... Someone said something about... I, I, let's go back to shoes, please. What's the... What's it, someone said about Concepts. Concepts has a 2002R. Concepts has a 2002R coming out. Everybody has their own New Balance coming out. Everybody has a New Balance coming out. What is going on right now? Why does everybody have New Balances coming out? Everybody has a New Balance? So what is it, a brown one? Oh, trash. Sorry, New Balance. Trash. Nah. Those are trash. It's not theirs? Oh. Eh. I don't like the bungee cord leasing. Ugly. I mean, it's pretty... It, it's, it looks like nice if you live in the fall. Like, this is a nice fall shoe. This is a nice fall one, for sure. This is not bad. They're not, they're not for me per se, but it's not bad. It looks like different shades of brown and gray. Like this could be a nice fall shoe, but, uh, I'd rather take, I'd honestly, I'd rather take the, uh, the Amma Meniers or the Whitaker group, whatever you want to call them. I'd rather take those, honestly. I think this more would fit the Florida vibe. To be honest, I think this would fit the Florida vibe more. I think these are nice, bro. Deadass, I think these are really nice. Are you going to say, Gorgon, are you going to say these colors are bad? I think these are nice. I, I actually like these a lot. But I don't even know how I would even style these. I don't have anything in my wardrobe that I can wear with these. It looks like the Joe Fresh Good 990s. Yeah, I don't have to pay Joe Fresh Good pricing on the secondary market. I these are nice. Anaheim, how food? How was it? Where'd you go? You guys want to know about the food, huh? Well, here's the thing, dude. These sneaker events, you have no time to eat because you're at the event all day. So basically, the only meal you can have is dinner. So what we do? I told you Nobu. We went to Nobu. You guys see my stories. We went to Nobu. The sushi was incredible, really good. Um, we ordered like spicy tuna and like this jalapeno like uh, 
yellowfin, I think, which was really good. Excellent, excellent. So sushi was good there. It was, I thought it was expensive, but you guys have more money than me. So, um, <clears throat> so I went to Nobu. Then Saturday, I went out to dinner with the Wanted team. We went out. We got barbecue. I don't know the place, though. It was excellent. It was absolutely excellent. It was probably better. Honestly, I, would, I enjoyed it more than the Texas barbecue. It was right by Anaheim Stadium, the, um, the Angels, a little bit kind of close to that. It was packed. It was really, really good. Really good. It was really good. Uh, so uh, I got like burnt ends. I got burnt ends and then a half rack of ribs. M got a giant half chicken. I don't know what the hell M was thinking. She's like, I think she thought like a half piece of chicken, but she got, no, it was a half chicken, like a half of a rotisserie chicken. She got way too much food. I'm going to see if I can pull it up on her. She probably didn't even save it. Do I have a video of it? I have a video of it. I always have a video of it. She doesn't get mad. She's got a ton of content coming out too now. She did a ton of interviews and talked to people, all the girls. She's doing all girl content. So any ladies out there? Keep an eye out. She's going to have all the girl content. Dude, I ha I didn't save it. I don't think I saved it. Oh, and then... Yeah, I didn't save it. Shit, it's on my IG. But she got a half chicken. Tons of leftovers. Yeah. It was a pigeon. It was huge. It was huge. It was so good. Um, yeah, dude, it was awesome, bro. Like, I had a great time, man. I had a great time. Can I show any of this stuff? Is anything bad in here? Not really. It was good. I just want to double check. No, no, that's all fine. Yeah, I can show you. I can show you all the way up here. Yeah, I took a ton of pitches with Quavo. A ton of pitches with Quavo um, out the back. Me and M at SneakerCon. M with the bunny. She's going to get mad, but I showed you this. But I thought this was funny. <laughs> M with the bunny. Um, tons of shoes, man. I'll probably post this all on my, tw on my X or Twitter. This table had all Air Force Ones, literally. And I and I said this on Twitter. I was like, is Air Force Ones going to come back? I mean, I, I'm, I'm wondering right now, guys, chat. And this is why I'm saying this right now. I'm wondering because the dunks, the dunks are so that people might move over to Air Force Ones again. Uh, I wonder if people will start moving over to Air Force Ones. But the Terra Squads, bro... Nobody wanted those Terra Squads, huh? I know you guys say Air Force Ones never met. I know you guys say Air Force Ones um, never left, but come on. They're nowhere near as popular as they used to be. As far as collabs selling out like crazy. But those Terra Squads are doing nothing on the secondary market, which is good because I'm thinking about maybe grabbing a pair later on. I mean, this one was supposed to be more limited, and it's under... Oh, it's going up now. No, it's not. It's 160 bucks. These are 160 bucks. I'm thinking about grabbing these later on. They're at Men's Closet. Are they still there? I'll have to hit them up, see if they still got pairs. Boy in a scanner with a 20! Gifted! Holy crap, man. Sheesh. Became an employee. Sheesh. Mangosteen became an employee. 20 gifted, bro. Thank you so much. That's super kind. You're always holding it down. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Rebellious underscore kicks became an employee. He's not, no, he's not a commenter. Raw too risky became an employee. Not a commenter, but just comes in always. Geo became an employee. 
Wowzers, thank you. Derek became an employee. There you go. Here's everybody. Eddie West became an employee. Bro, he's calling out Piglet. Ross, did you, uh, did you upgrade to iOS 17? I did. I did. Is there any big difference? I don't see anything in here. Let me see. Hold on. Uh, Ross, I loved 22 Wild on foot review of the TS Blacks that made me buy him pretty quick. Was way too clean. I mean, if you're just looking for a regular shoe, like, they're not like, again, to me, I, that's what I've been wearing, bro. My membership just expired too. James! Hey, we do have a loiterer. If you guys want to become a loiterer, that's available as well. If you guys still want to support, it's two bucks. It's literally two bucks. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. I, I don't know. I, I'm definitely thinking about getting the, the TSs at some point. If someone has 11 and a half that they got um, and they want to get rid of for the low or just, I don't know. If you got 11 and a half, let me know. I might be interested in it. Ross, you coming to SeerCon Cleveland? I believe it's at the end of October. I think so, yes. Uh, I should be heading to most of the sneaker cons, if not all, unless something comes up personally. Uh... But anyways, there's just there was a lot of good shoes there, man. The artifact shoes are nuts. Holy crap, boy in a scanner 20. Did you mean to do that again? Holy crap, boy in a scanner. What are you doing? Another 20 gifted? Vic Guapo became an employee. What? Io Baby became an employee. Feeling blessed today? Oh, thank you, man. Anthony Chief Harrison became an employee. Thank you so much for doing that. Jackson became an employee. You have 11 and a half? Hit me up if you have 11 and a half. Damn. Oh no, Ross was hating so Nathan hard on TSs. I don't, I mean. Santos Morales became an employee. Oh, Frank. Frank, baby, they become a loiterer. Thank you. Appreciate you. Wow. Boy in a scanner, bro. Woo. Thank you. You gave giving everybody chickens. You gave everybody chickens today. Frankie Baby Senior became an employee. Thank you. They appreciate you guys. Boy in a scanner, another 20 gifted. Yo, chill, bro. Yo, chill, man. Yo, chill. Dude. What are you doing? Yo. Dude, you do not have, dude, bro, man. Cosmic Owl 333 became an employee. CTM became an employee. Nathan Higgins became an employee. I don't even know what to say. Nikki Naomi became an employee. Jeremiah with the two. Brian Burdine became an employee. Holy crap, man. Paramount underscore plug became an employee. Stephen Waters became an employee. Eric Sheffer became an employee. Wow. I can't even read the Dave chat right now. Became an employee. I'm just sorry. I'm just like shocked. Thank you, Boyna Scanner. Rosa became an employee. Unbelievable. Do a 50 you want. Do a 50 you won't? Oh, my God. If you weren't rocking Air Force Ones or into them in the early mid 2000s, then your appreciation for Terror Squad Club isn't there, which why OGs love them and the new collectors don't. Yeah, facts. I mean, I was around for like that whole, but like, dude, I I will say this, dude. I remember like mid Air Force Ones were super popular. I think they were more popular than Lows. But like, that's how I started school, bro. For a lot of years, was I used to get. I honestly, my mom used to get me black Air Force Ones for school 
because they would just last longer. Like that was the first day of school uh, sneaker was an Air Force One back in middle school. Before I got like got into super skate shoes and stuff. But uh, yeah, people don't like them because they're big and bulky. Air Force Ones might come back because of the Y2K trend. It might, dude. I mean, did you guys see these ones? Bro, these are were the craziest Air Force Ones I've seen, man. The artifact ones. Like, I was looking at, dude, I was like, holy shit. These were insane. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane Air Force Ones. You getting the ES Moscow OG Retro? I saw that. Didn't he just post those? He Like the materials, like it's crazy. There's only 60 of these made. Only 60 of these were made. These ones are wild too. 190 of these made. How do I just get gifted? Not even in the LOL. Gifts love me. I don't know. Hype gains, take for 10 months. Wow, one by three championship titles in bodybuilding Saturday. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. You won? Won three championship titles in bodybuilding Saturday, nine times first place in a pro card in my first 11 months doing this, and I'm a natty. Hype gains, hold on. Let me get back to this. This dude just dropped 50 gifted. Hype gains, hold on. Simon Cowley became an employee. What is going on? Jonelle Clark became an employee. Todd Palms became an employee. What is going on? Anthony became an employee. Becker Ortiz became an employee. Wild Style Collective became an employee. Carrie became an employee. SS Dance 4 Sneakers became an employee. Boss, get Ian sturdy? Became an employee. Dude! Thank me later. Carly money making money. An employee. Bro, that, that's why they call you money Carly making money! Employee. Holy crap! Became an employee. Holy crap! Speed God Dash McFly became an employee. Dude, I think he has the He became an employee. R A K E M U P became an employee. JP Nose became an employee. Wow. IWA Swoud became an employee. Damn. Indian Kid 151 became an employee. I don't even know what to say. Nada Hernandez became an employee. Ross, get sturdy. Ross, get sturdy. Wow. Thank you, guys, man. Holy crap. Look at the community, man. This is W community, bro. Reggie Ward became an employee. Dude, W community. Big Griselda Scorpion became an employee. Brian Barajas became an employee. JXXY Beats became an employee. Michael <laughs> became an employee. Everybody, just say everybody became an employee. Andre Morgan became an employee. Everybody just became an employee. Mac Locke became an employee. Ski! Manny Gonzalez became an employee. It's going to go on forever. <laughs> Lamar became an employee. Everybody just became an employee. Thank me later. Wow. Holy crap. All right, you got dunks now. You got dunks if you want it. Nike app, dunks, Nike app, dunks. We need 350 likes. We need 300 likes. We need 300 likes. Run it up. Run it up. Run it up. If you guys don't want to wait for a gifted, you could just get a you could just do a become a loiterer. You won't be able to participate in the giveaways or the um the the monitors, but you can still f support the stream by uh getting a uh a chicken. Uh, let's see. Anybody going for these dunks? Yes or no? I don't even know if people are going for these dunks. It's all on the Nike app. All on the Nike app. Nike dunk. 
11 o'clock. Yep, here we go. Justin Valentine's. Uh, Calvin Young, David, 21 months. His line cook. Ross, believe it or not, you're not. You're a solid and enjoyable to watch. Enjoy your blessings. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, man, Calvin. Here you go. Valentine's are up. Uh, hype gains. Do you have any video? Hype gains. Do you have any video of your wins? Where are you, bro? Sorry, that kind of got skipped over everything. Do you have any? Do you have any video content of your wins we can show? We need the bar back so we can watch it fill up folded hands, medium dark skin tone. Shoe plug Texas, thank you for the five. We need to um figure out what's the next thing so we can have like a a fun community thing. Here we go. They're all up right now. They're all up right now. Real Ross, what's the name of the restaurant where M had half a chicken? That's what I'm trying to find out, Mamba. It was right by the Anaheim Stadium. It's a barbecue place. It was packed. It was like a little bit south of the Anaheim Stadium. I think it was like right over the highway. There's like I remember going over the bridge on the highway. You like the gray pair in October? Okay. Um. I got early access. Anybody just get early access for the New Balances? Holy shit! Whoa, 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 whoa. I got VIP. Did anybody get VIP for the New Balances? These actually look really nice. I just got VIP. Wow. They look nice. Who just got access? Wow, these look better than the, the colors that they were, that were just on the ad. There's an all blue pair. That white pair, that sandstone looks really nice. That actually looks like a really nice colorway. That one's okay. Kind of like khakis. That looks like a dad shoe. A khaki. This concept's EA. You should have just got an email if you're a part of the VIP. The blue is nice. That blue is nice. He just did another 20. Oh my God. Oh my God. He became an employee. Oh my God! He just did another twenty. Mel became an employee. What is going on? E Mailey became an employee. Did he just do a hundred gifted himself? He almost did. He did eighty. Pass on everything. I don't know if I like the laces on these, but they're nice. That cream pair is really nice. Mark Pye became an employee. Ryan Duffy became an employee. Shock drop at the Chicken Shana W's. Became an Ski! Employee. Gregory Mendoza became an employee. He's insane. Jeffrey Harris became an employee. It comes with extra laces? Stop. Triple D became an employee. Me became an employee. Junior became an employee. That olive is actually better now. That one looks nice. Jeremiah McDonald became an employee. Mayhem 401 became an employee. What? Brett Miguez became an employee. Dear Jason became an employee. Correction, 400? What do you mean 400? You guys say this is not, um, an, oh, it's an exclusive release, so it's only through Concepts. Sandstone's the best. The Sandstone is clean, dude. I've been, for some reason, dude, I've been loving just white shoes. What a day to be watching live. Who do you get the gifted subs? Who gets it? You just got to be in the chat. When do these drop loss? I don't know. I just got exclusive access to them. Um, um, VIP only? Am I VIP? I should be VIP. Where's going back? How the hell? Let me sign in. I'm not signed in. That's why. Let me sign in. Let me know if you got, uh... JMO, welcome back as an employee. Welcome. 
Um, I don't know. The protection pack is crazy. You guys like that one the best? There's plenty of sizes available. Should we plenty of left? Plenty. These are really nice. Yeah. This is that's like that's exactly how I got um the the orange lobsters. They these are aren't concepts they're releasing on Hibbit as well, are they? Sandstone and desert moss is crazy. Yeah, the dark moss. Though I I, I think oh you like you like this one the desert high desert. I don't really care for this one. I think it's too khaki esque, but that's just my personal taste. Um. I like the blue, though. The blue is nice, too. You could probably put some good fits with those. It's kind of more calmer. Did they come with extra laces? Anybody know? Can anybody confirm? Because I really don't like the laces on them. Do they come with extra laces? Save some money and get some SBs. Do they come with extra laces? Anybody know? You like the laces? I don't know if I do. Hit on 11. Valentine's Dunks Brickin? No. Nah, these are where it's at. Doubt they have any extra laces, sadly. Oh, okay. Roscoe, you're the best. Fabio Meatball, appreciate you. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. That one's sick. God, I'm like, my. I've been buying nothing but New Balance and Asics lately. You guys clown me. Ross, can you link that page? Yeah, but I think you need VIP access. Let me know if this link works. I'm thinking about it. Do it. Do it. I've been nothing but, dude. Literally. Literally, I kid you not. I kid you not. Everything I've been wearing... Everything I've been wearing has been ASICs and Air Force Ones, bro. ASICs, Air Force Ones, that's what I've been wearing, bro. Wait, did it work? It worked? That link works for you guys? Nah. -uh. That link works for you guys? Switching up? I have been switching it up, yeah. I mean, a lot of the Jordan GRs, a lot of the Jordan GRs, I just haven't been feeling, bro. I, I didn't like the red cement. I do like the, um, I do, I, I am going to wait and see on the J Balvins. I do like the J, the J Val, the J Balvins. I do like the J Balvins, but as far as like the Jordan 1s, I haven't been feeling. The dunks, I've been a miss. I, I just haven't been feeling the dunks lately. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I've been kind of switching it up. I have been. I'm not going to lie. And I, I, I like Air Maxes, but I haven't liked any of the Air Maxes that have been coming out either. So, I don't, I don't know. Like, I'm only going off of what, like, it's releasing. You know what I mean? Like, this is what's been releasing. Like, the SBs are SBs. I can't hit SBs. I can't hit them. You know what I mean? I go for every SB. It's been an L. Um, Air Max Pluses, nah, I'm not feeling those. Um, yeah, we'll go for the J Balvins. Playoff 8s is a skip for me. Uh, I mean, I'm going to wait. I don't really need them. And that's really about it, right? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. 
I'm on the, like the the walking type shoes. I've been more about the athletic shoes. If that makes sense. Yeah, like running shoes. We're going for black cement too. So if I think you'll be dude, honestly, Omar, you you're definitely going to be able to get those under retail. How do you like those Asics? They're so comfy. They're so comfy. Especially if I'm doing these events, dude. Like if I'm doing these events, like my feet kill me. And like I'm not going to lie, guys. Like like even this shoe, dude, I like. And you guys are going to clown me. But I don't care. Like you guys clown me on whatever you want. You always tell me buy what you like. I like these, man. But I don't think I'm going to get them just because I might I'm going to have to choose between these or the New Balance. I'll let you guys pick which ones we should get. But I mess with them. My page won't even load. The Bodega A6 look nice, but it's also the um the A6 the white and green pair. My Instagram just crashed. Nothing's pulling up right now. This one. I kind of mess with these. I don't know what you... Uh, are these ugly? The Vimeros, I haven't liked the Vimero colors yet. I kind of like these. Dead ass. Yeah, these are kind of nice, man, with the cream laces. I know, I know, I know, I know it's kind of like silvery, like Tin Man shit. Those are bricks, get the new balances, pass on Asics. Ross is 55, we all know this. I don't know, I'm just switching it up. I'm switching it up. I don't know how long this is going to last. I might look back at this and say, what the hell was I thinking? <laughs> but... I have been switching up. I haven't liked any of the Vimeros besides the uh, the ones that glow in the dark. And they want like $250 in my size. I'm not paying $250 for Vimeros. Not the Kelly Green. That's the Kelly Green. That's the um Cadence. Cadence, thank you as a line cook. Welcome. Welcome. Ross trying to get noticed from a distance. What do you mean notice from a distance? Ross, look at the gel, Kano, 14s, and metallic plum. You may love them. Which ones are those? You go for a plum look? I mean, I'll type it in. A6, what'd you call it? A6? I don't know anything about it yet. Candace Monster became an employee. What'd you say? Uh, gel. Oh, those? Those are not bad. Those are a little bit darker. I haven't had, I don't know. I don't know anything about the models. Which ones, is this one comfy? That's a nice material. I like the I like the other ones better. I'll be I. I'm not gonna lie. I like see. I like these. These are nice. But I have something similar to that. I like the creams. The creams are hitting for me. These are like too much though. I don't know. These look kind of look weird. I'm not feeling. Not those, bro. Oh, that's what I typed in. These are pretty dope. I don't know the silver. Those are pretty dope. I'm feeling the New Balances, though. I might go New Balances. Ross giving you dad vibes. I think you could style them, though, and make them not look like a dad shoe, though. It depends on how you wear them. If you want to wear these with, like, you know, your socks like this, then yeah. If you want to wear, like, socks like this, like, yeah. you'll And, like, some khaki cargo shorts. Yeah, you'll look like a dad. For sure. You'll give off the dad vibe if you're walk, walking around like this. For sure. You know? with a, And you're walking around with a spatula. If you're walking around like this, then yeah. Hi, guys! I'm ready for the cookout! Then yeah, the grill master. It's all about how you dress, man. It's all about how you dress.
It's all about how you dress. Yeah, and jorts too. Bro, jorts are super popular. You hate you dude, you guys are all mad, but jorts are very, very popular now, bro. I kid you not, jorts are popping. StockX is starting fast shipping, Ross. You hear about this? What, are they going to have, like, shoes in-house? M and that girl said jorts are coming back. They are, bro. They literally are. It's that whole 2000 look is coming back. I've been, say I've been saying this. And then you guys clown me, bro. I told you that Hellstar was popping off, and y'all didn't believe me. Literally, did you see SneakerCon? Uh, dude, everybody's rocking Hellstar jeans and chrome hearts and, like, gallery department. Like, that's that's what I'm getting. Like, the, if you want to look like you got money, you rock Hellstar. Like, that's, the hell, that's like the, resell, the reseller starter pack now is Hellstar. Hellstar shirts. Super popular. Baggy clothes, yep. Baggy clothes is still in. It's actually, I saw people even way more baggy. Like, pants that you can, like, swim in. I'm just saying, it, it may not be your style, but that's what's popular. That's all I'm saying. It, don't, it doesn't have to be your particular style. You can definitely disagree and say that shit's trash. 100%. But I'm just saying, like, that's what I'm starting to see a lot of people wearing, and that's what I'm seeing people selling. Yeah, like Jinko level, yeah. Like Jinko jeans. Everything's a cycle, just at a faster pace, yeah. I love baggy, hated the skinny style for men. Um, some people can pull skinny work, skinny perfect, bro. My legs are too thick for, sk for skinny. I've always liked um, baggy or like loose. Baggy or loose is what I liked. So what do we do with all our skinnies? You just donate, sell them, donate them, sell them, and then get them back or stash them away. Damn, so which one do you guys like? Should we cop for an unboxing? Would you guys like to see a cop for an unboxing? Because I think, I don't know. I'm either torn between sandstone I'm torn between these three. I'm torn between these three. I'm torn between those three. Jay, thank you for two months. Yo, thanks for checking out my reel I sent you of Yotos a couple weeks ago. Also, I have a theory that Nike is dumping pairs on StockX. Thoughts? I mean, that's been a long uh, theory for a while now. Um, I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe it's possible. But they, Nike is suing StockX. Nike is suing StockX. The blue pair. Dark Moss is the best one. Those are clean. But remember, I'm in Florida too, so it doesn't even get that green. These are nice. Go with the cream and buy more laces. I think I would honestly wear this one the most probably, I'm thinking. Or maybe it's too cream. J are the J Balvin's dropping on a site? Yes. Okay, hold on. Ratmosphere keeps telling me. To look this up. A6 gel. Okay, no. 14 cream. Black. This one? You can't even tell if it's purple. You talking about this one? Is that like, that's like a raven's color. Is that purple? Uh, 
The reason like you don't have like shoes, you don't have to worry about snow anymore. That's true. You should get a color you don't have already. I don't have the blue. You think I should get the blue? I don't have the blue. I don't have anything like this, I don't think. I don't. I don't. I don't have blue. Yeah, I, I have olive, like Travis's and all that. That's all in that same color palette. Blue it is. All right. Definitely get the blue. Okay. How do these fit? True to size? Are you part of the New Balance cult now? Um, I wouldn't say I'm part of the New Balance cult, but I've like, my last two shoes I've bought in was like Asics and New Balance. Yeah, it's true to size. All right. God, I have to ship it to my new place then. Um, you're definitely in the cult now. Uh, am I? I am in the cult. Uh, it sucks. I got to switch everything over. I am getting my license though soon, which is kind of exciting, right? I am getting my license. I still don't have a, I still don't have a um a Florida license yet. Isn't that crazy? Lost one of the shorts dropping soon. Soon, 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 soon. Soon. Uh, 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 uh. Let me see. Um, I never switched my license. Yeah, I got to switch my license. You don't have a driver's license? I have a license. I just don't, I haven't switched it. All right. Cool. Done. Uh, my homie used to have a Maryland VA. Yeah, I have, um, um, I still have my Massachusetts license. I got to switch over at some point. So. Yeah, and I, I don't have the um I don't have the uh I don't have the real ID. I don't have real ID. Do you guys have real ID? Who has real ID here? You don't drive me. It don't really matter. Bro. It matters to me, A, because it helps with discounts if I want to go to Universal, Disney, and all that stuff for being an in-state resident. And then on top of that, I fly everywhere, bro. I literally fly everywhere. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, I have a real ID you need for travel right now. I, I definitely need a real ID. I think they haven't enforced it yet, but it's going to be soon. I don't have a real ID. Me, you could use a real ID to travel to Canada and Mexico. I have a passport. I have my passport and shit. Did you swoop the blue? Yeah, I got them. I got the blue ones. Ross, when is a Jordan 3 Jib album releasing on his website? That no one knows, Frank. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It could be right now. Go, 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 go. Or it could be later. Could be tomorrow. Could be an hour. Could be 30 minutes. Could be 20 minutes. Could be could be 72 hours. Could be tomorrow at, at 1 a.m. Could be tomorrow at 3 a.m. It could be any time. Could be any second. We don't know. You just got to be on high alert. High alert. Having a fake ID works. Bro, nobody, who the hell still, you still use a fake ID? Sergio, thank you for the 15 months. Ross, I'm the guy that flew out to Cali for the Kobe and GGs. I have a real ID, but no one cares to be honest. Keeps getting pushed back. What? Nobody really cares. Oh, it keeps getting pushed back. Yeah. Dude, they almost like tried to get me. With the, uh, I don't know what it was, um, my license. The lady, like, scanned my license and was just like, oh, I don't think this is a real license. The birth, like, what? I have so many issues going through. It's so stupid. I have so many issues. Never makes any sense. Uh-oh, you guys getting the golf shoes? Eastside Golf. A day late, but man, it sucks to be 0-2. Pain. Pain. Real ID required in two years? Yeah. It's just another way they can suck more money from you. That's right. Another more another way to suck more money. It's like, give me a break. Raffle on their app already closed out. Looking to add to my Eastside Golf Collection. Nice. This is Eastside Golf Golf Shoes. Bro, everyone's going to go crazy for the Travis Golf Spoon. Dude, that week might be nuts. Is you... Carl, they've been 18 months. How did the house studios hold up? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. They're super comfortable. Feels great. I'm still wearing them. Um, My question to you guys, do you think the... I think the Travis Golf Shoes... Do the Travis Golf Shoes flop a little bit? Do they go... Do they flop? Do they do they flop? Do these flop a little? No, you think they go hard? You think they go hard? I'm just asking. I don't know. I just, I, again, I know Gorgon's the only one that says you can wear golf shoes normally. We'll be super limited. They better put people rock golf shoes casually. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Everyone says they need it. Everyone's saying they need it. Everyone is saying they need it. L. Gorgon, them joints about to be the new regular wear shoes. It's a totally different shoe than normal Travis shoes. They're gonna be sturdy as f on feet. I don't know. I like I said. I don't. I have never worn a, a golf shoe normally. I haven't even tried on a golf shoe. Maybe it's not even that big of a difference. I mean, you guys walk around in off white spike shoes, so I guess this could be no different.
So we'll see. If it's got a reverse swoosh, I need it. That's the that's the attitude I like. I'm gonna pin that. That's the, that's what we are about over here. I almost put you in timeout. Bro, did you know I can put people in timeout now for 24 hours? So you better watch out. No longer is it a minute. I can pin. There we go. If it got a reverse swoosh, then I need it. Got to complete the set. Absolutely. It's the last one, right? It's, a la it's the last one. There's going to be no more Travis uh, Jordan stuff, really, besides his own stuff. This guy's going to wear golf shoes IRL. Who, me? We'll see. I mean, I don't know. Again, I don't know how they're going to feel. If they're, like, really... I'll just keep them in the collection. But if, if they're, like... I don't know. We'll see. Now, this is a rare case where people where Gorgon is alone. You're going to see people rocking these. I bet. I've seen people wear golf shoes casually. Absolutely, bro. I'm going to see people, mad people wearing these at sneaker cons. Hell, yeah. Absolutely, we're going to see people wearing these at sneaker con. You kidding me? Without a doubt... Without a doubt, dudes are going to be wearing these. If, if there's not really a big of a difference like he's saying, then yeah, people are going to wear these. You know? Why not? Why not? Why the F not? If people are wearing big red boots, they're definitely wearing golf shoes casually. Hell yeah. Let me see. Do you think the Balvin's you think the Balvins are hard to hit on a size eleven? Um, you know what? I don't. I don't know what to. I think people are gonna eat up the Balvins heavy, bro. Can I be honest? The Balvins are gonna get eat up heavy. Now, I, the one thing is, I don't know if people are gonna get stuck with them. The thing is, here's the deal. Like, let's have a real conversation about the Balvins. There is hype on the Balvins. Okay, here's my two thoughts. I think I think I think timing right now is perfect on this shoe. Perfect. Because right now everyone is solely focused on this. There's nothing else coming out. Nothing next next week. Nothing. I don't know. There's nothing right now. This is the shoe of the month right now. Okay? So it's 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 got everyone's attention. Now people are already spending four fifty. I saw someone. I mean, people already. Chris said that when he got his pair, mad people were hitting him up about it at his table when he was trying to sell it. So the hype is there. Now I just don't know how much people are willing to spend on this shoe. I think they're going to sell out at 250. 250 gone. They're gone at 250. Sell out. Whew, gone. Now, I do believe though that spending $400 plus on a pair of shoes this year is pretty crazy. Cuz to me, I look at like spending $400 nowadays is like equivalent to spending like 800 to $800 plus on a pair of shoes a couple years ago. Right? That's just my perspective. If you're spending $400 on a pair of shoes now, that's like equivalent to like $800 plus a few years ago. Is this, sh I don't know. I, I feel like this shoe is going to be right around 350. I think it's going to be right around 350. Maybe big sizes. The big sizes will do the most because 
resellers eat up the big sizes. But again, though, it's like, dude, you're going to be spending, resellers are going to be spending 270 out the door, right? 250 shipping, blah, 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 all out the door. And then on top of that, just to make $50 profit would be crazy to me. I just want retail, not resale. If I, if I don't hit, I'll move on. Nice. Some people are not like that, though. You know, some people, like, if they really, really want this shoe, they're going to pay resale, and they want to know when is the, the best time to pay resale, right? When is the best time to pay resale? And I can tell you right now, dude, I can tell you right now, patience is your key. Patience. Over the last few months, what shoes have gone up substantially after the release? Right? There's always that initial bump. You're right. There's always that initial bump after they sell out from the panic buyers. But when the dust settles, it seems like everything comes back down to reality. Haritos? Yeah, but Haritos, honestly, the, I, I will say this though, bro. You got you guys keep bringing up Haritos. The game, the sneaker game isn't the same like it was in the spring. I don't know if you guys have realized this. Bro, th 4 months ago the sneaker game is not the same. I felt like going into this year, and even in the spring, people were spending money. It's like as soon as it hit the summertime, as soon as summer came around, everything kind of flatlined. And nothing has really popped off since the Haritos. You know? like I, I honestly think that like also too with the Yeezy days that we've had, Kind of put a huge dent in the market. And it's kind of been slow since. So I don't know. I know you guys keep bringing up Haritos. But to me, that Harito release seemed like ages ago. And it seems like and it seems like we're in a different place now than we were when those released. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But, like, the dude, Sneaker Game is so fast. It's so fast. It's very quick paced because of how many releases they come up with. So it's like, dude, the sneaker game can be popping one month and then the next month it's dead. It can be popping the next month and then the next month it's dead after that. Or we can go pop in for one month, which I've noticed, and then go dry June, July, two months straight, all summer, dead. Se September. Pops off. Oh, August. Excuse me. August Yeezys pop off. This month, dead. October, possibly quiet, but we do have Travis, some Halloween stuff. You never know. Maybe when Born and, maybe Born and Raised will get a release next month. But we'll see. These Balvins, these Balvins reselling? Okay. I mean, you may be right. You, you could be 100% right. Ross, the Shrek Croc. Why you like the Shrek Croc? Everyone be nice in here, bro. Ross, how do you feel about the uh, the AP uh, SBs? They're okay. They're okay. I think they're very subtle. They're nice. Um, I don't think people are as excited for them compared to other SBs they release, but they're okay. I prefer it the way it is. I don't like the distressed look on them. I don't like the colors on it, but I think they look nice. I don't think they're going to be a, a heavy hitter. Did you did you guys see the new um orange label? I think it's orange label, right? That's coming out next year. Did you guys see the orange label that's coming out next year? All right, a couple things I want to talk about too. So, we're getting a, dude, they're doing a red pair next year, huh? They're doing purple, they done purple, they're doing navy blue and they're doing red. That's not bad. 
That's that's actually, dude. Woo. I mean, that gum pack is probably all you need, bro. That gum pack is fire. Anybody have the purple pair? I I was thinking about the purple pair, but yeah, these are clean. These are definitely, definitely for sure clean. Yeah. And gray, remember? Oh, yeah, gray. They haven't restocked the gray pair. But the gray pair, yeah. There you go. So you got those coming out next year. That's going to be very well. Those will do well. Now, I did want to talk about this. So it's funny that we brought this up now, that this is getting brought up. Is, are you guys going to buy sack shoes? Are you guys going to buy sack shoes? Or are you off the sacks? Are you off sacks? Probably not, to be honest. I will say this. Just the shoe itself... I am a fan of this sneaker. I am a fan of this particular model. The white pair that I have, I absolutely loved. I absolutely loved his shoes. Now, the person himself, again, it's like one of those situations, can you separate the man from the shoes? From the, obviously the allegations. But to me... Overall, I listen, I'll just say this. I don't even think this shoe would do well if everything was fine. I don't even think this shoe would do well. I mean, the brown pair, the brown pair tr was trash. The brown pair, nobody gave a shit about the brown pair. Nobody gave a shit about the brown pair. I've I've had I have the, I have a review of this pair. Someone had it early. It was supposed to release in April. Now, this is where people are not going to keep the same energy here because I'm going to talk about this, and I'm going to say this right now. Okay, you guys can say pass on the Tom Sachs general purpose shoe because most of, most of you probably already have a colorway in these, right? You, most of you guys already have these. You probably already caught these at Kohl's or some shit. And you're like, pass, trash, he's canceled. Are you going to keep that same energy if they do another Mars Yard? I want to know. Are you guys going to keep that same energy if they do another Mars Yard? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it. It's so easy to say trash on these and pass because you know there's going to be no value on this shoe. This shoe is a brick, right? Listen, I, I'm sorry that I have to use these types of verbiage and I got to talk about resell, but... That's just where we're at in sneakers. I know we got hardcore collectors in here, but I'm telling you, like, a lot of people nowadays, that's their thought process. They see this shoe, oh, it's a brick, it's not hype. I don't really want it. That shit's gonna be a dud anyways. That's an easy pass. But if this shoe was, go if everybody wanted it and it was hype like the J Balvin's, like, there's gonna be resale, Everyone's mo everyone wants it. Everyone's gonna go crazy for it. But this one we know is gonna be dead. It's going to be dead. Like, nobody's going to buy these. Like, nobody was going to buy them anyways, right? Everyone's got the white pair. Everyone's got the brown pair. Everyone's got the yellow pair. This is the fourth colorway. They've already milked this enough. But if they do a Mars Yard, now that's a different story because nobody here has it. Nobody has it. And that shoe is a grail of a grail for a lot of people. The Mars Yards. If they do a Mars Yard, I guarantee you people will go nuts for that. It's not really a Ravi model shoe. It's, well, it, to be honest, with this particular shoe, it served its purpose. That's why it's called the general purpose shoe. It's just, it's not supposed to be super flashy it's supposed to be a tool. Like, this guy is different, bro. Obviously, with all the allegations and the shit that he does, he's built different. Like, he just thinks differently than everybody. Like, 
he's I he's just out there. And the way he looks at it, he's like, oh, he's like he's the type of person that breaks everything down from like a science and everything. And he's just like, oh yeah, like the general purpose shoe. A shoe is a tool. It's just a tool. That's all it is. So for a tool, it's gotta be, you know, durable, built, quality's gotta be tough, and it's gotta be minimalistic. And that's exactly what he built with this. It wasn't supposed to be flashy and crazy. You know? Yeah, he's like the Bill Nye of Nike in a way. That's just like, that's just how it is. I don't understand that after the sneakers community has put billions into these companies, they just stop this bullshit and innovation collabs and give the community the sneakers they want. Because they want you to keep coming back. It's as simple as that, bro. It's as simple as that. This isn't like, uh, I gotta, we gotta break this down every time. I get this a lot. Listen, if you want a place where everyone gets a gold star, this isn't it. Okay? Sneakers isn't for you. If you think that you deserve everything and you should be able to get everything easily, you're in the wrong hobby, bro. Because taking L's and not not being able to get some of these shoes is part of it. That's it's a huge part of shoes. You take more L's than you do W's. And that's why I always joke around and say it feels like the shoe chooses you. Right? Like you're just meant you you have that feeling, right? Where it's just like some days you just like, "Oh, it's just meant to be." I like the, like the stars aligned, like something happened, my car broke down. I was stuck. The shoe shock dropped. I got access. I hit. It was like, oh my God. Like, it's all these weird stories. I, I'm, every sneakerhead has it. Where it was like, oh my God, I was running through the alley, getting chased by dogs. And I, like, I don't know, I tripped and fell. And then I got my app and I hit it and I hit the shoe. I don't know. It's all weird shit. But that's part of sneakers, man. And it's also like part of the stories. Like I camped out six hours with my buddies to get these. That's about, that's it. Like it, it's not just like, oh, everybody gets a pair. You get a pair. You get a pair. You get a pair. It's not about rolling out of bed like freaking 10.59 or, or nine, uh, 9.59. The app, oh, it's live. Easy hit. It doesn't work like that. And the reason they the, the, the reason why they never want to make enough is because there is I think scarcity limited exclusiveness it being limited is part of shoes that's part of hobbies man right it's part of collectibles is the limit the, the you know how limited the exclusiveness that's a huge factor they're not going to just sit there and make shoes for everybody and do pre-orders and everybody gets a pair like that would crush the sneaker game whether you believe it or not, it would crush. It would crush any hobby. It'd crush any hobby. And you know, you don't think people would go crazy for Pokemon if they just printed a million Charizards? No, nobody would want Pokemon. It's it's about the fight. It's about the chase. It's about keep coming back. So they just make enough for you to keep coming back and keep coming back. And then you do hit that big one. You do hit that SB. And when you do, it's like a, a rush. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a feeling that you get tingling inside that you just can't describe. And it's like a, a quick high and then boom. And then you go chasing for the next one. Chasing for the next one. And it just keeps going and going and going and going. That's why I don't go for GRs. <laughs> I 
Uh, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna bust on myself if I ever hear what. If I hit an SB or a Travis, see. So they could have done 50k of two of the last TSs and then 450k of another. They could, but they they choose not to, bro. They could do whatever they want. So you guys like, how come they don't do this? How come? Because they, they don't want to. That's it. It's as simple as that. You guys are searching for everything. Bro, they have the resources to make millions of pairs of every shoe. They don't want to. And nowadays, it makes that decision so much easier when all this shit is sitting on the shelf. And they're sending most of this shit to the outlets. They don't make shoes to sit. They make shoes to sell out. I'm a fan of sneakers on the chase. I never go for any raffle. I just hit up my boy and hit him early. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. I liked I like the chase. Sorry. I like the chase. I like I think it's so much fun. It's so much thrilling. It's excitement. It's craziness. I love that. Just tuned in and I got Ross whispering in my ear. Great. Absolutely. Kickfinder said that the Mars Yard 3.0 will be out this holiday. Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Like, everyone's saying this shoe is trash. Oh, uh, he's canceled. But, like, if he drops a Mars Yard 3.0, y'all are going to go crazy for it because you know damn well everyone's going to go crazy for that shit. If it looks exactly like the, the other Mars Yards, pff, that, shit would, that shit would be probably, that could be one of the biggest sneakers of the holiday season. That's how crazy it is. Dead ass. Dead ass. Mars Yard 3.0 would be, if it looks exactly like the Mars Yards, it would be the biggest release of the holiday season. You could say it's overrated. That's fine. I mean, everyone's, everyone, listen, everyone has their own opinion. That's fine. But this would be the, one of the biggest shoes. You know? We used to get so lit for drops. Seems like every everything before Passport Dunk Pack was lit. Then started dropping off. Yeah. It was crazy in here. We had Bruce going nuts. But we'll see. Have you seen the new Drake shoes? Why walk? When you could glide. Not glide. Why walk? When you can just glide. The red pair looks fire. But I'm gonna see if I can get those at the out see if get those on sale. People just why walk when you can, can just glide. Sneakerhead's the only people who even know who this man's name is. Who? Tom Sachs, probably. Why walk when you can glide? Why walk when you can glide? Oh, so this is what you were talking about with StockX? They posted on Twitter or X. Express ship has arrived. Get what you want faster with Expedite, 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 Expedia, Expedite shipping on select items. Just look for the rocket icon to enjoy guaranteed three-day delivery on pre-verified gear. So what are they doing? Are they going to keep stuff in-house? How does this work? Let's click on it. Is there an article? Learn more here. Let's learn more here. This is interesting. I think this is... Pretty, it's just like goat instant ship. Introducing express ship. Your favorite items delivered faster than ever. It's time to get what you want faster, which is why we're excited to announce the launch of express ship. This new feature allows you to order select pre-verified items 
from StockX and receive delivery within three business days. Okay, so, all right. Express shipped items is all these ones. Okay, so let's just look at the breakdown. Okay, Express Ship, how our three-day delivery system works. Blast off. Express Ship items are labeled with a rocket icon. Wow, you, so you get a rocket. No more waiting. Items have been already pre-verified and stored at the StockX Authentication Center ready to ship. A little extra work. There will be an additional shipping fee of 10 bucks. Oh my God, another fee. Another fee. Are you serious? Another fee. A total of $24.95 for all express ship items. Bro, it's not even... Dude, they're not even shipping it faster. It's not even faster. It's not even faster. All you're waiting is that they just removed the seller part. They're not paying for... Are they paying for faster shipping? They're going to still give you ground. So basically, they're just... Yeah. It's probably just consigned shoes. No seller, which is still faster. It is. It's still going to be faster, but why do I have to pay? I don't know. I got to pay an extra 10 bucks. You got to pay an extra $10 for that just to get it fat, just to get it. Okay. Why would I want to do that? I mean, why would I want to do that? That may, I mean, unless I'm like a, a sneaker reviewer and I need the shoes today so I can review them and post it. But like, why would I do that? If 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 you're if you're a, a buyer, it's a waste of ten bucks. Unless you got you want an outfit for this weekend or something, and you need it quick. Double check. Remember to look for the rocket icon and select Express Ship at checkout. Update your app to the latest version to access Express Ship. This program is only available for select sneaker purchases in the United States. Why are you going off? Goat has been doing this. Because, like, you never wonder where the hell Goat gets the shoes from. We give yeah, a Goat. Goat partnered with Stadium Goods. So you assume that the inventory comes from Stadium Goods, right? Where is the inventory coming from StockX? And Foot Locker. Flight Club and Foot Locker. Isn't Stadium Goods GOAT? China? Why is everyone selling China? So you basically pay more money and they won't legit check. No, well, the, it's already legit checked, supposedly. They're, they have a warehouse of inventory. They're just going to sell it to you directly. Flight Club is GOAT. Okay, Flight Club, not Stadium Goods. I thought Stadium Goods. What's Stadium Goods? Stadium Goods still on their own? With GOAT, sometimes you get instant ship for free if they got a pair already. It's crazy. Okay, so let's shop Express Items. What do they have for Express Items? Panda. They got pandas! Express Ship. Here you go. They got plenty of items for Express Ship. They got tons of stuff. They got all the GRs. All the GRs, basically. All the GRs, Dunk, Sambas. Ladies, get your Sambas, size 7. All Lost and Founds. They got everything in Express Ship. They have everything in Express Ship. Dude, they got everything in Express Ship. Everything. Maybe it's another way that they can make more money. I don't know. It's got to be right. They got to. I mean, they wouldn't introduce this if they if they like weren't going to make any more money. It's probably another way for them to make more money. 
right? It's another way for them to make more money. If you guys are new here, just join. Make sure you guys hit that like button. Run it up. Can we get 400 likes? 400 likes. Buy one for the test. I just bought New Balances, bro. If I was, I'd buy these. They only have two sizes. Ah, oh, see, be careful, guys. See, they only have two sizes. If StockX, if you're watching, if you want to sponsor, we'll, we'll test it out. Other than that, I don't have a need right now to do express ship. Hit me up, StockX, if then. If you want me to test out the uh, express ship for my viewers. Just hit up the hit up the email. Hit up the email. Try them with the Terra Squads? I would. I, I just bought the New Balances, though. The Terra Squads, they look like... It's only select sizes. It's... I mean... It's... Uh, I guess. Do they have it in my size? They only got a size 8 and a size 12. They do have a 12 in the Express Ship for the Terra Squads. None for this one. I'm sure everything will be express shipped. I'm sure everything will be express shipped. At some point. A lot of stuff. Need that discount code? For what, StockX? StockX ain't giving you no discount code, homie. They don't need they don't need that, bro. They make they make millions and millions of dollars, dude. They're all set with that shit. They can take it they can take the discount code and shove it. You can store your shoes when you purchase with StockX. Goat, they probably instant ship those pairs. Oh, that's a good, yeah. So resellers, resellers can just invest, buy shoes, store it, and then flip it and not even touch the shoe. I'm sure people do that. I'm sure a bunch of people do that. We tried the leak discount code. They canceled. Remember that? That was funny. Remember that? Crazy. Uh, uh, let me see. Yikes. Uh, day trading shoes. I know, right? Literally, day trading shoes. Dead ass. Literally, day trading shoes. Crazy. I do that with Elias, and then they give him cops. Copped a Pangonia puffer jacket on stockers for one thirty five. Retail is two twenty. They got so much shit on there now, dude. I'm telling you right now, bro. It's crazy. It's crazy right now. The game is so crazy. You're literally watching. You're literally watching. I don't know. In real time, you buy something, you get it. It goes down like 20, 30 bucks. No matter what. The game is dead. You're better off just sitting back and kind of poaching and getting stuff later on getting it from like things from like i don't know getting shoes from i don't know stock x back to normal we are in pre-covid i dude i honestly don't even think are we in pre-covid I don't even know if I don't remember what we were pre COVID. Pre COVID was still decent. Still decent. But I don't even know where we're at for content wise. It's like, dude, I don't even know what people want to see either. It's been all over the place. You know? I, I just don't even know. I don't even know what, what shit's popping off or not. 
It's so crazy, dude. This is like the weirdest time I've ever seen in shoes. We getting shut down again? Yeah, you think so? Nah, we think we should good. I've been buying releases I missed out on for the low. Haven't really gone after new releases since it's easy stop dropping. Yeah. I know a lot of people. I wonder what happened to all the Yeezy people. All the Yeezy people just stopped. That was a huge, huge. Hey, yo, you talked to me at the Artifact booth at SeerCon this weekend. Talked to you about the Vanta Blacks and Reptiles. They were cooking me in the comments. Oh, you must be new here. Yeah. Emmett, don't worry about it, bro. I'm telling you right now, see, it's just like, well, people people on online will just joke about every, anything, uh, but you're fine, dude. You're fine. That's normal here. Honestly, they probably took it easy because they're, dude, this chat can be ruthless. Yeah, we cook daily, bro. Like, people get cooked all the time. Take it as, a, a, honestly, a sign of respect. If you get cooked here, you're doing something right. Literally, you're doing something right if you get cooked here. But yeah, you were talking about the, the yeah, I met you about the Vantas, the Vanta Black um, Artifact Forces. Yeah, those were sick. Those were sick. We got, I got a little, I got a little, uh, y'all know what I mean? <laughs> I got a little short coming soon with Artifact. I'm excited. I did a little uh, short with them. Uh, I don't want to spoil it just yet, but I hope, I hope it does well. StockX has stores in New York where people can bring their new cops in and sell. Ah, oh, okay. So they'll probably just take that inventory too and use that as express. What are you unboxing today? I don't have anything. I don't have anything. I haven't been buying anything, bro. I haven't bought, I don't got no unboxings today. I didn't buy anything from SneakerCon. Um, I didn't get anything. Double mask and quadruple boost unless you want to endure the winner of death again. I reposted and tagged you on Twitter. Let me see. My Twitter has been going nuts, dude. I will say the artifact community is dope. Absolutely dope. I didn't even know, but like, I'll have to figure it. I'll have to find it. I mean, you guys were like clipping stuff from the streams and reposting it. Yeah, my shit's been going nuts lately. Like anything I posted, like you could see all the clones. All the clones. I got mad love from the clones. Yeah, this one. You guys literally just like took the whole interview. You guys took my whole interview and clipped it. And like all the clones went nuts. He's really cool. He's really, really cool. I want that shirt. Was that because I, I should have got that? I should have asked for that shirt, bro. That shirt is fire. That shirt is fire. I, I don't know what I, I'm not I know I don't own a clone, but I would have I would have loved to get that shirt. Probably wouldn't be possible, but I should have asked for that shirt. That shirt is fire. You guys were all rocking it. Um I roll car shopping. Um maybe in the near future. Absolutely. Wasa was dope meeting you. Thanks for clowning on my hat. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice meeting you, bro, too. Uh, Ross, I'm going to comment nice sneakers on Shade TV's next video and see you can and, and, and can you reply. Thanks for letting me borrow your Rolls Royce last weekend, A1. <laughs> You're a clown. Uh, I took Gorgon Sounds, Gor Gorgon, go to content. It's just different, bro. It's a whole different space, man. Totally different space. They were all wearing these shoes and stuff. Like, it's wild, dude. 
Yeah. Those shoes are wild. Bro, that shirt was free. We were handing him out. What the hell? How come I not? What? L. I didn't know the shirt was free. What the hell? I didn't know it was anything. Damn. That was a huge L by me. The shirt was dope as hell. What's the, the new Nike that's being worked on with the light up swoosh? The new Nike that's with the light up swoosh. I don't know. I haven't seen that. All you had to do was ask. Oh, damn. That's an L by me. I know. L by me. Huge L. I'm wearing my Air Force Ones. 1,000. You'll have to tag me, Emmett. Tag me when they come in. Tag me when they come in. Post it and tag me. I, I would love to see, love to see them. Um... I mean, I took as many pictures as possible. The only one I missed was the green, the the reptile one. I forgot to take pictures of those. I forgot to take pictures of the green reptile one. I took pictures of most of them. Like, obviously, like, all these ones were just crazy. And, like... This one is just nuts. This one's nuts. Only 60 of them. The alien. Absolutely just crazy. You asked P-Rod to apologize. I did. <laughs> I did. I did ask Paul Rodriguez to uh, apologize. He, he laughed about it. He was cool as shit, P-Rod. Probably the nicest guy, honestly, the nicest guy, easy to talk to. Dude, I honestly felt bad because, bro, I felt like he would have talked with me forever, literally forever. I was like, oh, bro, you got to get going. Like, he just kept going. End of October, they're shipping. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah. Apologize for what? The YouTube video that he posted. We were, it was a joke. It's just a joke. It was a joke. Um, just for the YouTube video. I'll tag you on Twitter right now of my rep uh, reptiles. Okay. Ross, you think you're going to go to Sneaker Travelers next event and next month in Cleveland? I'm going to Cleveland. I'm going to Sneaker Con, Cleveland. Right now, I'm just sticking with Sneaker Con, bro. If I start going to all these events, it'd be too much, bro. It's just too much, man. Dude, it's SneakerCon is the, the the biggest sneaker event. It's the best one, I feel like. I have a lot of fun there. And I'll just stick going there, bro. They enjoy it. They they actually appreciate me. They like what we do. Um You know, it's like it was fun, dude. You know, me and Austin Reeves. Like Like, you're not going to get this at any of the sneaker events, bro. So I don't know why you guys are all like, you want me to go there and hang out and talk to like all these other, like, why? I just go to sneaker con and um, talk to Austin Reeves and talk to um, P-Rod, talk to Quavo. Like, I'm not going to go. Bro, tell me why you ain't want to go to PS. Legit, everyone in the chat was asking you to go over there. Oh, I just, bro, I didn't have time, dude. I like, there was so much shit going on. There's only so much you can do, bro, in the matter of time frame. You know, I did talk with Meek Mill a little bit. We had a conversation, me and Meek. He says he's, he's trying to teach me how to hustle, bro. You know, he, he's like, he, like,
He was trying to teach me how to hustle. Are you not going to go to Phoenix? Uh, I'm, I should be going to Phoenix. We'll see. I should be going to Phoenix. Uh, let me see. Someone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those are those probably one of my favorite ones that I saw there. Probably one of my favorite ones. Like, I don't even know how you could wear this. Like, these are probably the most unique, the u most unique Air Forces I have ever seen. Ever seen. It's like patent leather, but they're iridescent and they're shiny. Like, probably the coolest Air Forces I've ever seen. By far. By far. Like, that, I would, honestly, this is probably the ones I would probably get. Need some green fuzzy pants? Nah, this is Florida right here. That's Florida, man. Florida, that's like Gator vibe, bro. I think though, dude, honestly, that's why I saw these. I was like, damn, it makes me want to get stop rock, start rocking Air Force Ones again. Like these Air Force Ones are insane. How do you get them? You have to be part of like uh, the clones. It's it's an artifact. You'd be you have to own a clone. It's NFT. It's that whole NFT space. Yeah. Dude in the green, Zim hat you talked, would love those all day. Yeah. Um, if you want like a clone, bro, the clones cost like twenty six hundred dollars. Like, yeah, let me find it. Hold on. You just got to go to open C. And you have to like mint it. <clears throat> Was this part of the Air Force boxes? I wonder if they're going to do... It's like this space right here. I wonder if... They, they, are they going to make shoes like this? I think they were trying to, right? Isn't that the next one? Yeah, they're not customs. They're, they're officially Nikes. They're, they're actual official Nike. Nike bought Nike bought them, I believe, or they're like, yeah, I guess you want to say in a sense, Nike bought them. I they they're making these right. No one wants these, bro. I mean, it's different for sure. It's different. It's not like our space. I know we cover GRs, Jordans, and all that. Like, this is a whole different ball game, bro. A whole different ball game. Like, this is some, like, futuristic type shit. Yeah, you have to, like... I don't even know what this is. Like, it's just... It's different. Yeah, they're authorized. They're official everything. This movement is so dead. It's it's not it's can't you sell NFTs? Yeah, you can sell the shoe. You you like the way he, like I'll watch. <clears throat> like you can like bro, they were showing me. It's going to be on the clip. But like those shoes, all you got to do is take your phone, click it to your shoe. The shoe pops up 
It tells you which number that is, who owns that shoe, and everything. It's so crazy. And I was like, I'm like, it's the, dude, it's like the easiest way in probably the future of how to authenticate your sneakers. It's crazy. Like, they were showing me this. And, like, all these Air Forces, like, the back right there, see that logo? Oh, you can't even see it. You're not on my screen. There's, like, a little logo in the back, like, right there. Some, like, right there. You take your phone, you click it, this, this NFT pops up and tells you everything. So, like, imagine, like, a way that you can authenticate your Jordans and stuff is if you just click it, boom, oh, here's my Jordan, and it tells you who owns it. I don't know. It's just, it's different. So your shoe will have a back-end chip. Hackers will clone the shoes, digital footprints. Hackers, I mean, I don't know. Like, it, it's just, it's different. It's, it's obviously, it's so far in advanced. Like, you can't scale it, but it's definitely, it opens, it opens possibilities. You know what I mean? It definitely opens possibilities. And like for you to trade shoes, you have to send them the NFT too. You'd send it to them. Uh, the one you just showed was the original collectible. Then we redeemed that collectible for physicals. But now you can't redeem it. So right now it's just, uh, you can't redeem that shoe. So basically now it's like, it's not worth as much. So that's why it's 60 bucks, right? Emmett, that's how it works. That's why this one's only 60 bucks because you can't redeem this one anymore, right? So it's basically worthless. Well, it's just a collectible now. Now it's just literally a collectible, right? Okay, yeah. So the value, yeah, the value, the value of it keep is down. Okay, because how much was it a year ago, like when it was going up? Yeah, it was five. It was like 10, nine, six, nine. Oh, yeah, it's all the way down. If you didn't redeem it, so when you, at one point, it was probably worth like 5000 right? It's worthless now in a way. Let me shadow, haha. -ha. See, that's the thing, Emmett. See, it's like, it's so, it, it's such a tough sale because a lot of people, like especially sneakerheads, are very like, I don't know, it takes time. It takes time. It takes time. Like, it, you guys know that. It's a long process. All this stuff is a long process. If you think it was just going to blow up and everybody was just going to be in it, it's, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. You know what I mean? And I think having one or two drops like this is great, but it's going to have to be consistent in like, yeah. It's going to take time for people to, uh, to jump on this. But, I mean, we'll see. I mean, Dot Swoosh, Artifact is one, right? Artifact is its own separate community that Nike owns, but they also have Dot Swoosh, which Dot Swoosh is probably more geared to, I don't know, people early on, right? I feel like dot swoosh is for the people of that are kind of still learning about it. And honestly, it's up to them. I feel like the more it's more pressure on them. Um, and don't know how to buy shoes will be in circulation in, Octo in, in October. Yeah. I fell into this space, been around for two years now, so I get it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you definitely, yeah. So here's mine. 
Let me sign in. Like, this is what they're trying to push. I have some stuff in here. Hold on. At one point, people thought they were... What the hell? I... At one point, people thought that they could redeem... They could redeem all this for shoes. You know what I mean? Like, people want physical product, which could happen later down the road, but you're not going to be able to buy $15 boxes and get the most exclusive. Like, I think what would be dope is that, like what you said, if you forge it, if you forge your things and you had to pay a certain amount of money, you could get that shoe. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, this is what I have. At the Frankenstein, the crocodile. But like, they've been too quiet on this stuff. I hate that there's no app for it. Yeah. Again, everything takes time. 100%. They said there's supposed to be something in here. New dot switch pack start dot switch to see what's included in the pack. Yeah, I don't even know. I see. What the heck is this? New dot switch. Oh. We asked for utility with NMTs and they said, F it, let's rug pull. It just takes time. How much did you pay for that? That was 20 bucks. 20 bucks. 20 bucks. You get the mystery boxes, you unbox it, and that's it. But again, we'll see where it goes, man. It looks like it's going to be a while. So we'll see what happens from it. You know what I mean? We'll see what they do, anything of it. Yeah, we just got to wait. Um, where's my achievements? Oh, they put the achievements up here. My Fortnite stuff. Ross, why are you still on, bud? Oh, you want to get off? I'll get off. Yeah. My Fortnite achievement. Yeah. All right, that's going to do it for me today. We've been going for about three, four hours. Wow, nice little four-hour stream. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning, all right? I'll see you guys go tomorrow morning, same time, 8.30 EST. So I'll be live 8.30 tomorrow morning, EST. We'll see what happens. I appreciate you guys. You guys have an awesome, amazing day. Sand Drift Dunks, uh, they're dropping dunks all week. They're dropping dunks all week. So um, today was just the ones that they had. And then now I think they're gonna be doing they're gonna be doing drops all week. It says it on the app. Right? I think it's all week. If I'm not mistaken. If you go to the Nike app, Nike Days, it says. Nike Days or something like that. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, it's all week. It's all week. So you guys have an awesome, amazing day. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Before you head out, hit that like button. Let's see if we can get up to 400 likes. I love you guys. Peace.